Oh, 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 wait, 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 he tweeted, wait, he tweeted, if there's anyone in the AMP crib right now, come downstairs, I can't move, help. <laughs> what? Telling me, yo, what go up him. What do you want me to do? <laughs> what does that mean? Like, I've been brewing coffee. I'm going to be, I'm going to have to go back up top in a minute and then we're chilling. Wait, what kind of, should this, what kind of coffee should... you drink? Uh, Tim Hortons fucking uh, brew. I, I get the powder and I, I put that shit in a fucking coffee maker, yo. It's, I, I, I learned how to do that uh, yeah, a couple days ago. I, I took a cup, I put water in the back, then I put the coffee filter, like a little, little uh, paper shit in the middle. I put the powder in it, close the, close the top, and it starts brewing and whatnot. Oh, wow. Bro, bro, I, I didn't want to be insensitive, okay, and talk about like fucking, because it's like belief stuff, right? And I want to respect everybody, like fucking twin blade uh, or, and fucking Flame. soulmate. Flame? That, that what, stuff like is real. It, it, it's real. You can't say it's not real. It's it's beliefs, and you know it's just like, I, like I said, yeah, like I said, it's beliefs. It's 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 opinion, I guess you could say. But I, I truly believe in it. I know Silky does. I mean, I believe. Yeah, in so it's, it's why I don't want to argue against. Do you do you okay? believe that some people are met? Do you believe that some people are met in their past lives? Like I feel like I've known someone in my past life before. I feel like I've got okay, that connection okay. with somebody. I, I'm not a big uh, I'm not a big mathematics guy. But I, I, I get, I get the, the thought that I'm being delusional if I think that out of um, eight billion people that I spawned in in the same neighborhood as the person who was meant for me, and it's, it, it's just that's it. We were just spawned right there, and on the same fucking block. Like I don't, I think that's just so well, unlikely. That's what, that's what I'm saying. People die before they get to meet even their their one person, bro. Right. And it's facts. Okay. People die before they can even meet their twin flames. It's then, crazy. then, then, if you th think about it from a mathematical, mathematical standpoint, nobody ever seen their soulmate. No, 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 no. not at all. I didn't, the, the likeliness I didn't, is like zero point zero 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 zero. I didn't say soulmate. But that's like a, say, that's like not like a good way to like live life, though. I didn't say soulmate. Oh, though, that's what I'm saying. Delusion. Yo, you it's can end up delusion. marrying. Just you like, can end up marrying your soulmate. Like, yeah, you can end up marrying you your soulmate. That's what I'm saying. You have one twin flame. There could be somebody out there that is literally like. The mirror of what right. you want. Right. How do I? Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. How do I? How do I ring him? Where's Tate? Where's Tate? Oh, he declined it, so I think I gotta add him back. Oh no, wait. How do I, I mean, it should it should be at the top I of the street. I don't want to be weird, okay? Okay, I don't want to be. Uh, hey, listen, listen. I know it's like there's like belief stuff, okay? But I like to be more. Uh, I don't know. Uh, look at it at, in 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 the scales of it, okay? People, how many people do? How many people do you meet? How many girls you meet in a in a lifetime? How many? Right. Well, I'll probably meet like girls, a maybe. billion, like a billion bitches. A billion, absolutely. Yeah, bro, I meet a lot of bitches, bro. Like a thousand? No. <coughs> Is he in? How do you meet like, a thousand bitches, bro? Meet like how? Like introduce yourself? As you see, how do you meet a thousand bitches, bro? In your lifetime, you you will probably. Well, as you see, I met a thousand bitches in kindergarten. Like Andrew! I met a thousand girls. In kindergarten, bro. Like, oh my god, oh, I actually hear. Well, I need to get my coffee it's upstairs. Gonna give me a minute. Andrew! Take a picture, take a selfie. Hold on. This. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Andrew, I got it. You I, hear me? Yeah, okay, how are... it's scuffed. I hear him good. You can hear him. So talk again. Can can everybody hear me? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, now it's good. Good now, great. All right. Okay. You get the coffee. Give me a minute. Andrew, this is what we do, bro. This is what we do now. Oh, it's like that now. Uh, it's what we do now, bro. Come on now. You gotta back up, bro. You gotta back up, bro. Back up a little, bro. Just back up. Back up. How are you, my friend? You good? I'm good. So who are all these people? We got a bunch of people here. All right. So I'm going to start off. We're, we're basically, you know, they're all streamers. Uh, Los Polos streamer, Silky streamer. Uh, Kai, I don't know where he's at right now. Trainwrecks is in here. He doesn't have his camera on. Uh, and my boy, Your Rage, doesn't have his camera on. And X2C, he's the one who said he's going to get his coffee. He doesn't agree with a lot of your takes. Um, X2C is currently number one ranked on Twitch. So he's, he's uh, you know, he's uh, the biggest the streamer. streamer. So he he doesn't he doesn't agree right, with a lot of your a streamer, yeah, like literally. he just doesn't agree with uh, a lot of your takes. He he thinks the I mean I'll let him speak, but you know you're still top you're still top G to me though. I'll always be top G. Oh, get off his dick, bro! Get off his I'll dick, always be top that, bro! Don't do that. Hey, bro. This nigga got you hypnotized, huh, boy? Yes, he does, top. and I'm happy with Crazy, it. I mean, look, I mean, look at him, bro. How could you not be like, damn? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god, yo. <laughs> Crazy. Hey, wash, wash my hands and I'm good. He's gotta wash his hands. <laughs> Wait, I think, XQ, I think XQC is nervous. He is. 
Yo, look at Chris. You got to get coffee. You got to go pee. Right, you gotta watch right, his right, right. He's really right. got to lock in. What the fuck? Now nah, he's wiping his hands. Oh, now nah, he getting ready. He's getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> look at Chris. Yo. 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 Can I right. a oh, okay, what's up? Yo, he's on the... Oh, shit. We got the whole squad here now? Yup. Yeah. We good. We good. We good. Okay. All righty. XQ, Mr. Tate. Um, well, I'm sorry. All right. Who else? Is Greek here? No. Shall I remove him? No, yeah. But yeah, remove him. I, yeah, I want him to come back. He fucking mail the convo in an argument. Yeah, yeah, Comes yeah. in with the fucking camera. I'm going to start eating bugs on camera. That's fucking <laughs> stupid shit. All righty. <laughs> Train, you're here, you said, right? Train's here or not? Nice. Yes, I'm here. I'm oh, eating hot Cheetos. He's playing a game, bro. Let him do his. I'm thing. eating hot All Cheetos right. and playing Rust. Okay. Hold on. Come why on. can't y'all y'all see Andrew's camera or not? Are you... Yeah, yes. we see him. See him. The fuck? I don't know why I can't see him. Oh. Oh, that. I gotta get some oh, context yeah. on uh, uh, what exactly is going on and who this exactly is. I, I gotta get some context. I need some videos linked and I need some uh, speeches you know, linked. I mean, I mean, bro, you know what? I need some speeches linked. Are we talking train wrecks 2015 type shit? Train wrecks TV 2015 yeah, type shit? Yeah, yeah, Some, yeah. Somehow yeah. worse. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the okay. A little bit more amped up. Bro, what the fuck okay. is going on my Discord? Hold on, I might have to restart. Yeah, it, it, there's been a bit of, a little bit of lag. You guys notice that? Yeah. yeah he said yeah, lagging. Oh, so it is. Well, he's lagging, well. but we're all kind of lagging as well. Andrew's lagging. Andrew's lagging. Oh, all of us are lagging, lagging a little bit. Hold nah, on, I'm not lagging. I'm not, not lagging. It's better now. It's kind of fixed. I think I'm. Andrew's not lagging like no, shit. No, I just got it. Yeah, a Andrew's just... Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's out of it. He's I, out of I, it. Yo, Aiden, I got shit talking to these days. Listen, dickwads. Dickwads in chat. You fucking 12-year-old dumb fucks, okay? <laughs> Listen here, bitches. When I say I don't know somebody, it's because I don't know them. You understand? This oh, shit that's being preached, I invented it fucking 10 years ago. So don't come in here and act like this is the fucking holy Bible, holy Christ. You understand? <laughs> you dumb little 12-year-old dumb fucks. Go back and play Minecraft and Roblox. Holy shit. Dumb oh, motherfuckers no. getting their mommy caught by the daddy. Well, he is like 35. So you dick, little bitch. Oh, man. Fuck, I'm, so, I'm so sick of this new wave shit. These new wave little pussies. I'm so sick of them. Dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> I swear to God. Continue. Yeah, I, yo, yo, oh, yo, I feel the same way good. about, about sometimes about my own community. I, they'd be like, oh, you're so you're so ego Andy or ego this one. It's so crazy. I've been like, I've been like this when I was a fucking nobody. I've been like this when I was a time little bitch. I was a fucking ass little bitch. Is mommy getting clapped by the neighborhood daddies? Hold on, though. Hold on. Hold on. My dick. So sick of it, bro. I'm so sick of it, dumb motherfuckers. Holy Wait, shit. Let, let's let's let Mr. Tate come in here and then let's let's get an actual, you know, because we're screaming. Bro. You think we nah, scared of the lion? XQC. Nah, he was waiting for XQC, but he started yeah, lagging. Around. Around. I don't know. X, you seem a little nervous to talk to him. I'm not nervous at all. My demeanor was fine. <laughs> well, because really if he's not, if he's not, if he's not, okay, I just feel like if he's not ready and he's not in it, and I know, I know that he's present in the conversation, and I say something, right? It's kind of like I'm, you're like cheating. Hold on. It's like, hold on. I'm waiting, not ready. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for him to tell me to call him and like ring him. I'm going to wait because he, he doesn't know. When he says ring me, I'll just ring him back. Uh, message him, DM. I am. I'm talking to him. Right man, now. all of you guys got me a little annoyed right now. Listen, this is another human being. Like, why are you guys like acting as if this is like a, an alien that's flown from fucking Mars? That's what I'm saying. Oh, this, is the this is top. This is the top G. Bro. Nah, it is top bro, G though. Bro, bro it is top, top G. G. Oh my top god! Terms of what? What the? Jeez. Bro, Lowe's oh is God. God. Yeah, right bro, now, bro. Bro, 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 listen. Lowe's, I swear to God, if I bring you in Drake and you're acting like this, I swear to God, I'll remove you from the call. Yeah, exactly. From the call. Bro, Holy bro, shit. Bro, like, I expect this from Ada, but God. Bro, damn, we are, we bro, are bro, out we have, here. We like, have a bunch of tape sexuals. Bro, Twitch is a place where people put content. We're fucking making content, motherfucker. He comes in here, you know, with the top, the, technically the top G. I'm the top G motherfucking content. Oh. He should whoa, be fucking stressed out. I'm not stressed out. I'm not stressed out. I'm not stressed out. Wait, eggs. I got a lot. Face cam carries all these motherfuckers. You gotta say that. Hold on a minute. You gotta say that when he's in the call. You can't say that when he's not in the call. Bro, yeah, you definitely got. You gotta keep that energy. Yeah. Goes X, 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 X. You gotta. You gotta. I said. I'm gonna make sure. I said. The message. Hold on. I wanna make something clear. I said. I said when he was in the call. That's number one. So don't get it twisted. I said what I said about the twelve-year-olds talking about who brought up what and who talks about what. No, nah, he, he was lagging. He was lagging. No, no, change, change, change. I'm not talking about you, change. I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you. 
I'm not talking about you. Okay, Felix. Okay. I'm not Adam, but hold on. Felix. Damn these 12 year old Minecraft motherfuckers. In terms of knowledge, he's on your chat crazy right now. I mean, he's right, though. I mean, guys, I don't know why y'all disrespect. Don't even disrespect Trent like that, bro. He's been bro. on that shit. Yesterday, you want to talk I, about I, some OG I, shit, motherfuckers? Go to YouTube, you little thing, you jerk off, you dumb motherfuckers. Oh and text my God. <laughs> I, I invented that shit. Whoa. You guys are jerking your dicks off to right now, you dumb motherfuckers. Suck my little dick, you dumb motherfuckers. Yeah, little Whoa. dick. I said it, bitch. What's good? That shit's plastic when it's small. Yesterday, That's right, bitch. What's good? Little he pussy. Said, yesterday, stupid, I had the top. That's a new G. wave mother. No, no. Top but G. It's a new wave posers. That's what it is. New wave posers. They think you're they know. You're fighting ghosts. Know. You're below. <laughs> you're arguing somebody. You're fighting. You're punching right aerials, man. Who are you talking about to? Which are, chat? Like, Los. Sorry, guys. I, I woke up. I'm not trying to be Aiden, 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 get our fucking content and hurry the fuck up, bro. Hold on, hold on. Right. I, I, I got you. I was waiting for him to say call. Oh, I got what you. I'm saying, yesterday, I, 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 was, I, I had the top G of beat making on this court. I didn't feel any other way, man. We're, we're, this is just, this is whatever. They're here voluntarily, yo. It's not like, um, I don't know. There's gonna be a bunch of top Gs. I feel like, why is this guy more of a top G than somebody else? Like, he's here right now. What, top G of what? Oh shit, Los, you ready? Oh my god, I don't know. It's, it, actually, see, it's a mistake, bro. Wait, what were you saying, X? Repeat yeah, that. Yeah, what were you saying? I said the top G of what? Oh no. What is, no. What, what, what is the, the, the <laughs> top G of what? Uh, the question. Stop. He's real saying you're the top G. The top G of what? Can, you give, can we get a rundown first, an introduction? I'm, I'm back at the right time. Well, hopefully I don't have any internet issues. It seems for some reason my internet's a bit slow, so let me know if it cuts in and out. And you broke internet. Right yeah, top G of broke internet. Mod, two predictions um, who's gonna win? X to C. Well, I, I don't think I don't really feel, my friend, uh, like I'm compelled to justify myself to you. If I if Please I start my... with introductions first, uh, where are you from? What country? <laughs> are you talking to me? Yes. Oh shit. This whole okay. panel feels strange. I don't know. I'm the trying whole to no. I'm trying to pin. I'm trying to pinpoint the the accent. It it. The, the energy is tense. Yeah, is it's it's South African. Like, it's kind of like I've walked into a police interview. You know, it's weird. That's what, what I'm saying. That's why I said to Aiden. I said, if you give up when you bring him in, he might feel like he's getting ambushed. Yeah, it's and it's a weird thing because obviously Twitch is is an online community, right? But I live in the real world. I'm not I'm not from this internet world. And in the real world, you talk to people, especially people who can destroy you with respect. You say, "Oh, Andrew, can you please introduce yourself?" You don't come and say, "Hey, bro," into like it's just an internet. It's weird. Wait, what do you mean by destroy? Like, what do you, do you mean, mean by like, like beat his ass or, or like like if you mentally mean, destroy? Like oh. men go through and talk to each other with respect. I think that's how men I have to start interact with each other. Yeah, in my opinion, here. wouldn't you say that a respect between two men would be not making me be formal and you would just understand what I mean, right? I you think, just get what no, I mean, right? I, I, when I, I say, be, yo, man, I, where are you from? Like, I you're think gonna be, say, hello, I, sir. Can you please tell me where you're from, sir? Is that no, what you need? No, I think that being polite and being formal uh, is something I you do. I think I was being polite. I softened my voice and I said, hey, man, where are you from? Try and pinpoint the accent. Okay, well, that's not how it sounded. It said, hey, stop. What, tell me where you're from. So well, I have a I, deep voice, so people take it the wrong way very often. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's a thing. He gets people getting real mad at him for that. Just just some advice for the real world. Anyway. I have, uh, believe me, I have one foot in the real world, brother. Only one? Only one. I, one foot in, one foot out. Half, I'm, I'm half British, and I am half American. That's why the accent is. It's like South American? No, no, no. American, American. Bro, chat, chill, okay, bro. So you I'm were born train, in America. Bro. I was born in the United Kingdom, but I've been I've been back and forth between the two countries my whole life. Okay, fair enough. Okay. So that's the uh, okay, introduction. Okay, introduction. Sure. Andrew Tate is my name, everybody. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm I'm Felix. So you call me X. Okay, Felix. My name's so, Tyler. You can call me Train. I'm Silky. Just Silky. Okay. Okay. I'm cool. also American. I remember everything. So I've been, I've, Aiden, Aiden messaged me and said, Andrew, quickly wake up. Someone disagrees with you. That's <laughs> <what he did. laughs> okay, good, a good introduction because that, that's it. That's how it is. Who disagrees with me and on what? Um, I think at, le at least me, I, I think I disagree with uh, most things, but I think, I don't know about Train though. I don't think he knows you that much. Uh, all I saw is a couple, a couple of clips of you and I, I didn't want to like um, Wikipedia whole search. I wanted to take the, the arguments and, and the takes what they are and not with well, like where they they come from or whatever just straight up face value that's what you, you get have, you have something specific you disagree with me on oh yeah most of your women takes are bad <laughs> yeah but you have to be specific because the burden of proof is on you so oh no no if, literally most of them 
Oh, yeah, but you can't say literally most of them. This is a court of law, my friend. We have a judging panel and everything. You have to come along okay. with the take that you disagree with and, and give your argument as to why it's not true. You can't just Woman say, can't I can't drive. drive. Woman can't drive was one of them. Yeah, that, that was kind of weird. So you don't think that men are overall better drivers than women? No. So when you see the worst parking you've ever seen in your life, you don't think it's more likely to be a female? Yo, it's just as equally yo, likely to be a man. He in is your view. crazy, bro. Well, I mean, when I see, when I see, uh, oh yeah, 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 exactly, exactly what you just said. Yes. Then that's your opinion. What's the argument? Well, like, like I said, it's not. It doesn't have to be an opinion, right? That's Liz, your anecdotal evidence, which is like kind of a bias, right? When, when you want to bring out things like. Woman can't drive. You're gonna go with stats, and your stats are off. You're they're, they're, you're just wrong about them. Well, everyone is. Firstly, firstly, when you talk about biases, absolutely everybody is biased to their own personal experiences, right? If I've been in five car crashes and all five of them were driven by women by coincidence, I'm gonna be biased. I'm gonna believe that women are less capable. <laughs> yeah. So and then all, because okay, so fair enough. You sit Yo. here and pretend you're not biased, and you're beyond biases is bullshit. That's the first thing. Okay. We're, all, we're all biased. Okay, and then and then like a natural good educated human being, you're probably gonna go on the internet and find some study. That maybe you maybe you're right about it, and then you're gonna oh, figure out that you're wrong. Oh, yeah. Study. Oh yeah, the internet study. Oh, why didn't I think of just following the internet study and not? You're right, because we could have gone fucking taste experience instead. Bro, why do I ignore all my own personal experience uh, and obey the internet study and get my fifth injection bro. and just do everything the internet says? You're I, right. My personal experiences. Females are as capable chat? of driving as, as males. That's my personal experience. You can't come along and tell me that's not true. So, and I don't bro. give a shit. Study. So the next, the next again, time we have a problem with science or some shit or physics, why why go to the internet or talk to some experts? Let's go with ask Tate's experience on it, and we'll have the answer to it, right? You That's fucking fine. sorry, sorry, no insults. Now I just got I got unhinged. Sorry for that. It, it's fine. That's what Twitch does to people. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give you that one. That's pretty true. Conversation would be very different in person. Yeah. Well, wow, that part's not true for me. At least. Yeah. See it, but that that's fine. That's the internet. Well, my I personal that my personal experiences my personal experiences dictate to me as all of your personal experiences dictate to you certain realities about the earth. And in my personal experience, every car crash I've been in, every time my car's been hit, the worst parking I've ever seen has always been by a female. Now I'm not saying females are Yo. bad people. I'm saying they're better than men at other things. Okay. Men have, if you want to talk about internet studies, because you seem to believe internet studies for some reason, even though, even though Fair you enough. can give, you can give me lies, you can give me big lies, you can give me statistics. Don't but, dish gallops, they one on topic at a time. No, studies are the biggest lies on earth, but if you want to talk about studies, it's been proven that females do not have the same kind of sp spatial awareness that men have. They do not have the reaction times that men have. That They've true? not evolved. They, this has been studied and found. You want to talk about studies? And they have not yet, they yet males cause more crash accidents on, on the road than women. Cool. So we so have, they have so, they, so they have less tools oh, to you and so studies. Studies. Yes, so they cause more accidents, but according to your experience, they cause more accidents. So you're right. So you so are we, right. Correct. And so we have studies that conflict. We have studies that conflict. And in my personal experience, I feel safer when a man is driving me than if a woman is driving me. That's my personal experience. If you want to sit here hoping <laughs> yeah. that if you keep saying women Bro, can drive, you might the... get a girl, that's your decision. But and I, in my personal experiences, that's not the case. I don't know why we're going to sit here and argue about it. Perfect. Then in that, case, in, that case, in that case, then what you're saying is that if you, if, since you're such a smart being, if you go to the casino and there's 60% there's red squares and 40% black ones, right? 60, 40. You should bet on the 40% black ones because that's how you're going to make money. According to your analysis of these stats, right? I don't truly understand the analogy. <laughs> and it's simple. It's very simple. It's very simple. Like, I, like, I, like I just said, according to your interpretation I didn't of, get it of either, the stats chat, on the internet or whatever, right? You would bet on the 40% outcome instead of 60%. And you're saying it's a, it, this is bro, a good bet. Oh, bro, bro. I know. I know. And I mean this with respect. I know, and I mean this with respect, I know the internet is your life, right? I don't use the internet for stats when I get into a car with a bitch. I don't go and go, okay, well, she's blonde. Let me look up the blonde chicks. Can they drive? Da, da. I get in a car and I look at her driving and go, and this bitch can't drive. That's what I do, right? And any man who's honest with himself has been in the car with a chick who's driving on some wild ass crazy, texting on her phone, risking everyone's life. Every man knows yes. I'm telling the truth. Okay. I know you can't okay. say it. Okay. You don't want to get canceled, blah, Cancel. blah, blah. You just sit, here, you sit here and say when you get in a car with a girl, you look up an internet study first. Shut up. Talk, bro, what are you talking 
Bro, what, what, are, what are you talking about? A bad driver on the road that you can see is a bad driver. I don't give a fuck if they're right. old, if, they, if they're missing both fucking hands, if they're and a guy, my, if they're a guy, if they're white, if they're black, I don't give a fuck. That's what they can't right. fucking drive. They can't fucking drive. I don't say, oh, I'm going to go to the study. Oh, I'm going to do this Bucky, to Andrew Tate. Right, they can't fucking bro. drive. Let me break a little bit and fucking change lane, yo. You know, I don't have a license. But yeah. I'm going to interject real quick into this uh, one on one here, okay? Do you remember, do all of you guys remember the. Uh, Chat, who's example winning? I gave about real life or like the real world versus the internet world. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the example I gave about the word slut. You guys remember that? Uh, yeah. I think I had that take exactly on point. In the real world, like I think when Andrew says what he's saying, right? Like, you know, the people get around like, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about, right? But in the internet world, everyone's very, 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 <laughs> um, they're very the exact, fuck? right? So when Andrew says women are bad drivers, the internet assumes that he's saying all women are bad drivers, women are terrible, women are fucking less than, right? So it just depends here. Are that, you talking like the real world talking where we understand what you're saying? Like when a rapper says all these girls are hoes, right? We know he's not saying all women are hoes. We know what he's talking about. When you go to the party, that one chick that's sleeping with all the dudes is a hoe, right? We get that uh, uh, comparison, but we know he's not saying that. So the real question here is, are you talking with the context of the real world only, where you're kind of just making that you're making it's that lagging. generalization, but you don't actually Which mean the generalization. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? Or are you actually a sexist? That that's that's what the question oh, no. is. That's a, that's a very question. good question, and it's very professionally asked. So I like the way you've asked it. It's very Thank professional. You. Thank you. Um, no, you're completely and utterly correct. The rap, the way the rapper says all women are hoes, is an absolutely perfect analogy. I'm not saying there's not a female on the planet who can't drive a car. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, I'm saying in general, in general, if every man was honest with himself, if you were to ask him, what's the worst driving you've ever seen? What's the most uncomfortable you've ever been in a car? What's the worst parking you've ever seen? What If you were to ask him and he was honest and he wasn't on the internet worried about getting canceled or trying to be correct or looking up statistics or any dumb shit, he'd probably say, I was in the car with this chick once and she nearly killed me. That is... Is not saying women are bad creatures. I'm not saying all women drive that way. It doesn't mean that I don't think females should have a right to drive, etc. I'm saying in general, I think that men have faster reaction times. We are more interested in cars. We enjoy driving more. We pay more attention than women do. That is yeah, my so, experience. So to hop in real quick, okay. The, re the reason I could kind of predict that, Aiden, and everyone else in here, is because I went through the same thing. I came from the real world, okay? And I had the one foot in, one foot out thing. It's why the people I got along with most were Call of Duty players, right? Because they had the same experiences as me. We partied, we went out, we had the college life, we had the, you know, club life, and we gamed, right? So I understood in that lingo, but I got in a lot of trouble for it, right? If you look at my speeches, I got banned. People said I'm sexist, misogynistic, because I spoke in that exact way. I, I assumed people were intelligent enough to understand the context in which I was saying these things. But the internet is not like that. The internet applies the worst case scenario, the worst possible context, and they will drill you for it. Shran, that, you're I, fighting I, ghosts. You're fighting no, ghosts. Nobody's saying that right now. We're not in that right now. We're talking. Like, this is why I could predict that he is talking in the real world on the internet. That's the issue. That's okay. the disconnect. You know, trying to train. I'm going to go against you. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, you know whose fault that is? That is your fucking fault. I know why. Because you, why? Are, you are a bad communicator. If you can't communicate your thought properly, so people understand it for what it is, now I then can. you are, no, you now are, you are lacking skill in communication to make your you, point yes. what it actually is. That is no, your problem. Real quick, real quick. Right. Right. Not talk about it's your problem. Talk about real quick, real quick. I want to respond to that. I want to respond to that. Then take and go in. Then take and go in. Okay. X, as you know now, I communicate very well. Now, when I make my speeches or when I make my points, I don't just explain the real world side. I explain the 1,700 different possible worlds it could be analyzed in, it could be perceived as, as it could be perceived in. I explain it in every way possible because I have a platform now on the internet. So now I've, became a, I've become a better communicator and I explain in every context. So okay. yeah, that's the, my point is the, right now Tate is in his, you know, it's the inception yeah, of it, smiling, right? On the bro. internet from the real world. So then, that's then the tell me how he is. Then tell me, tell me how he is. Say, 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 Tate, I think you you are a bad communicator of your takes and you are bad at dialogue. Say, like, say it's how it is. It's not a then. bad communicator. Tell him. It's Fucking not, tell him then. X, it's not a bad communicator. What it is, is it's an unawareness of the internet type of person. You understand? <laughs> when you're never on the internet, man. you don't know. Like, I didn't know people like this existed. You understand? I didn't know they existed. So you can't fathom to even have the 
the, 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 the possible world to explain something in a way. Okay. Well, maybe he is aware, but he just doesn't give a fuck. Okay, okay. Maybe that, that's the case. Oh, Trent, Trent, if you, if you make a statement a and you say women up, can't bro. drive, okay, it doesn't matter what your audience is, right? But it is a blanket statement. Have you seen Nick Pollum's poll? Nick Pollum's poll on Funniest Streamer. Do you know why that is? Because when I'm in person, I say, I make jokes like that. I go, must be a woman driver that made that, that caused that accident. I make jokes that. Do I think all women, no, women are better drivers than I am. I'm a shit driver these are, as these a man. Are, these are joking context, yeah. But if you make a statement, yeah, so then you're that's serious. That's why I'm asking. Alone. Is he just making that generalized kind of stereotypical joke? Or okay. is he truly a ask sexist? Him then. That's what I'm asking. I asked him. He said no. He said he's not a sexist. He's making that generalized joke statement. Okay. Okay. Then when you don't have a dialogue with somebody and he gets a monologue and you're alone and you go on camera and you say, women can't drive it without no precision, without no saying, oh, ex exception is exception. Without, without going down the list of why it's a joke or whatever the fuck, you think it's a good thing? You think you're no, being a good listen, communicator? Here's the, but that's me saying, that. Women here's cannot the drive. The end, end, end wrong. No, here's Actually, the part. Does he owe here's, that? Wait, 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 wait. I got a response. Hold he's up. talking to me. I, I, I have a responsibility. Got, Just trust me here. I, I apologize for interrupting you, but just hear me out here, okay? X, yeah, I, I believe, listen, I don't think he has the experience on the internet yet to understand why he is in the wrong to make, I think there is a dramatization, right? I think he is intelligent and is aware of what he's doing. It's a dramatization for these dumb fucks in the chat that sit there and say, fuck yeah, 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 yeah. It's a dramatization factor. Okay, That's okay, all hey, hey, it train is. Let's run, let's run an so exercise. For that, I Stay a statement wrong. like that, but instead replace- For that, I think it's wrong. Hey, train, train. For that, I agree train. with you, Ek. Okay, okay, okay. Then, then, then if, you're, if you're ready to prove your own point then, right? About the severity yeah. of it. How, how yes. about you make a same statement about, for the same topic or another one about black people? Go ahead. Do, do, it, do it now. Do, do it. But why we, would we do that? I, I made that point earlier. I made that point earlier about the consistency argument. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. If, it, if, it, if, it's, if it's not bad, because, oh, 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 it's a joke because it's, it's, I didn't it's, say it's not it's bad. A woman I, said, joke I, said, I said the dramatization of the too far jokes is for the dramatization to get people in. And I said, that part is wrong. And I, and I do, I do have a consistency. You ask Nick Pollum, in front of him, I, I make those jokes. I make all kinds of jokes about everything and everyone. Believe that. You ask okay. Nick Pollum, he'll go live right now and say, I do. Okay, I do. Ask, why don't you ask Tate if you would say that about a race or something like that, a generalization like that Facts, about a rage. joke Take about a race or ethnicity Rage or being an alpha right now. Hey, listen, listen. Could have, could have asked right now. Let's, let's, understand, let's understand my ethnicity. question. Let him talk. So I'm, I'm half black, half white, right? That's my ethnicity. Wait, so we he understand is? my ethnicity. I, I made that. a joke an hour ago with one of my cousins, because half my family's black, half my cousin's white. And he said he wanted to go uh, free diving. It's where you dive down in the water and you go deep with no scuba equipment with the sharks or some shit. And I said, bro, that, that's what white people do that shit. I'm too brown for that. I'm not going with the sharks. I just there, I just made a joke. There. Oh no. Cancel me. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? When I make okay. a statement, when I make a statement, bro, listen, when I make Yo. a statement, maybe you do, maybe you have all the fucking time in the world to sit on the internet, my friend. But when I make a statement, I don't have time to say, in my <laughs> personal experience, I don't believe women can drive. However, I understand that some women can drive and I'm not saying all women can't drive. And I know of women who can drive, but in my personal experience, the bad driving I've seen was most likely committed by women that I don't talk like a fucking geek. Fair enough, fair enough. I, I say women can't drive. Now, if okay. that upsets geeks like you, cool, whatever. Because geeks, I don't, don't give a fuck. That's what I say. If it upsets people tough, that's my personal experience. You're going to have to get the fuck over it. That's Dang. life. But if you want to if you want to say I'm a bad communicator, once again, that's your prerogative, but I would disagree. I think I'm a very good at commu communicating. That's the only reason I'm even fucking here. It's the only reason I'm even on the internet. It's because when I talk, people listen. So I must be doing something right. I mean, it's easy to talk whistle to like a misogynist. That's really easy. It's one of the easiest things out there. Preaching to the choir. That's so easy to get in following doing that. Hey, I'm I, you, hate, you hate women to, on these points and these points. It's going to be easy to stack them up like fucking easy. Holy that shit. I built, I built a fucking world of a community based on being toxic. It's, it's the easiest thing in the world. Way easier than being good and being nice. I'm a very good, nice person. Surely. By saying that, I think that men are more capable of driving than women. It doesn't make me a bad person or a not nice person. It means right. that if I car and it's snowing and it's late at night and it's dark i'm gonna drive i'm not gonna let some 18 year old chick drive i'm gonna fucking drive because i like staying alive and 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 let me tell you something there's funny you bring that up because last time that you, you talked about talk. car accidents or whatever and you, then you brought stats you said that oh oh well, well it's because the, the males been doing more accidents because they're young right so even if your own example right you would actually prefer having a, a young female driver not a young male according to you that's what you said last time on the fucking podcast then it is exactly what you said. You I'm that. using you your that. words against you. You said that 
oh yeah, males do more crash when you're young because yeah, they're young and excited, whatever. Mm. You just said, I wouldn't let a young girl drive my car, then you would oh, let- Okay, old I'm, girl. I'm just saying, be consistent um, about it. Listen, guys- there's, there's, let, me, let me tell you something, my friend. There's a cognitive dissonance. There's some serious damage that the internet is doing to society. I spoke about it on Aiden Ross on his podcast. And I spoke about how the internet as a whole has changed the world. I'm old enough to see it. And yeah. one, of the ways, one of the ways it's changed the world is when there are certain beliefs, there are certain paradigms which are not allowed to be punctured, certain parameters which are set by the matrix in which you must pretend certain things are true. People ignore their own eyes and their own ears because they are afraid of upsetting the matrix. And my point is that a person like you, and I mean this with respect, I'm not here to argue with you, which is a professional debate. A person like you, whose, whose entire income, personality, his importance, his ego, everything relies on a Twitch account. If you lose it, you oh, ain't nah. shit. If you lose it, you ain't shit. And the problem is that you could be in 10 car crashes driven by 10 different women, oh, and you will still not come here and say women can't drive as well as men because you are afraid. You are not You oh are not non-biased. You are sitting here inside of parameters that you must conform to or you don't exist. Oh I don't God. give a fuck. That's the difference between you and me. That's why I think things other people don't. I don't, I, don't know what, I, don't know, I don't know what that means, the last part. I mean, you talk about the matrix and the, the systems or whatever the fuck, but the only reason why you're relevant or cool in, in, the, in the real world is because you have money. Talk about the matrix, the fucking currency, and you and you think you're the top G because of that, and it makes you more important than other people who have value to society. I'm not only the top G because I have money. In fact, I think I talked about this with Aiden Ross as well. I talked about how money is an amplifier. Money alone will not yeah. make you significant or important. I talked about how money will amplify. Then I was the before I was rich. I was the man before I was rich, and then I got rich on top. Holy That's what fuck. that it's amplified me. That's all it's done. It hasn't changed who I am. There's plenty of people with lots of money who ain't shit. Okay, so because of the vehicle of my message is is Twitch, it's devalidated. It's not that it's devalidated at all, my friend. I think that Twitch is a fantastic and you're me and you're meeting lots and lots of people. And I'm here on Twitch as well myself. My point is that you exist inside of parameters. The people who rely on the system will always fight to defend the system. The parameters are set in a way in which you cannot be completely and utterly honest, even if your personal experience tells you so. We don't even have to talk about driving. We can talk about anything. We can talk about the last three years where you walked around and didn't see a single sick person and you had to pretend that you were supposed to be scared inside of your house because the parameters have told you if you say anything else, you lose your entire life and your life is online. This is this is the reality. Uh, not Most well, people are not allowed to say what they think. Okay, this works both ways though. It's not, it's, it's, it's not because you have, you have harsher takes and crazier takes that this doesn't apply to you. I feel like you preach to the choir to fucking incels, literally. That's like your bread and butter. You, 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 wait, isn't that okay. TOS chat? So by, 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 by extent, you try not to go against these opinions because you're going to lose these people. Like It's, it's okay. just how it is. So that's an interesting point of view, and we'll go into it in a second. But first things first, I want to clarify, because as I said, I'm a professional, and this is a professional debate. My takes are not harsh or extreme. Every single man, every single sports club, every single football team, every single group of men sitting around having a drink will make a joke about how women can't drive. Every single fucking one. So to sit here and pretend I have some extreme view is bullshit. It may be extreme on the internet where people are afraid. I broke internet just like that. Yeah, oh my God, this is getting really good GG. too. Hold on. I'm going to say internet. Yo, X, how you feeling during this halftime report? How you feeling about this conversation? I'm okay. I just, I, I, I just don't know X, he's kind of debunking you right now. I'm not going to lie. I, 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 I'm, I'm only questioning. I'm not, I'm not, I haven't even started making takes and saying things. I'm just questioning. I'm, really not, see, I'm, not not debunking your, X, I'm questioning. I'm not, I'm not even making statements yet. Okay, he's not okay, debunking but... X, but he, he, there, there's a couple points he brings up that I feel like I do preach about PG-13 streamers and, and the parameters set by Twitch and the general public that make the pg 13 or say things when I know for a fact they don't Yo, chat, them. somebody said they XQC is going to need off their job or their <laughs> yeah. income from the street. No, that was crazy. No, that was crazy. You cannot, only, you cannot prove a statement. You cannot prove a statement is being made because of the fucking loss of income or whatever the fuck. Because I, I would have way more proof no, of not the exact you know, but opposite. It doesn't apply to you, X. It doesn't the, apply to you. It okay. applies to... Yeah, I, I preach it toward the PG-13ers, right? The ones that glue smiles on their fucking faces and act robotic and virtue signal on every fucking avenue, right? Like, we know they're the NBCs. at the end of the day, right? Yeah, it, it, it's those that I preach that against, right? I don't think I don't think it's right. Like, I think what he's saying about that is correct. I don't think it should be applied to you, though, because I know you're just like me. Mm -hmm. You speak your fucking mind. If we get banned, we get banned. We eat that fucking ban, right? Yeah, yeah, we okay. We speak yeah. our mind. In, yeah, in, yeah. That, in that regard, after, there's, after there's the, nothing that you guys would back what at all. Just that there's person so. Fuck no! Why would I? Well, do you watch my streams, those poyos? Do, do you watch them? Do, Dude, you know what? You know I watch your. Sh I'm saying those like those motherfuckers hate me, bro. Every you're saying that there's nothing. Me. I'm saying you, there's nothing that you've ever had to hold back on 
The all. only thing I hold Bro. back on are the jokes that Nick Poem has said. If I could say on stream, I'd be the funniest streamer on the planet. It's my jokes. The jokes I hold back because I, yes, the, the jokes are the only things I hold back. But my views and my opinions, I say them straight out and I'm hated. Now, I for sure had to hold back on some of the jokes. Yeah, the, the, re the reality is, when you're live, like, like 20... Dude, hold back hold on. on jokes. We, we, all, hold back. we all hold yeah. back, bro. Come on. We all do. Only for oh, jokes, yeah, like If you're saying view. no, that's kind of like... No, for I jokes, mean, yeah, yes. Jokes. Not, not, I'm not your, everything, no, 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 not beliefs and shit. For jokes. jokes. Shit online Bro, I hold I... back inappropriate shit. Like sometimes I want to scratch my balls and pull my cock out. I like, I like having my balls out sometimes when I'm, when I'm, when I'm on exactly. stream. I don't, pull my, I don't pull my balls out on stream. So yeah, I am holding back, I guess, but not in ways that are, 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 are not morally or fucking like uh, that don't align. Like, I don't my know. political views, my opinions on others, I don't hold back. Uh, jokes, yes, yeah, yeah. sexist jokes, you know, borderline racist jokes, yes, I hold those back because we live in a society. And, and, and before the chat, listen, chat, y'all got no right. Y'all got no right to sit here and say, why do you hold back on jokes? You are the ones that cancel all of us. That's, that's, that's so true. That's actually that's true. true. That's, that's so true. true. That's so true. 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 To be honest. You can't say the ones that say the ones that say the ones that say the Okay, I agree. I agree. I also I even agree even more. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like uh, uh, I'm about to make a joke that I heard one day. I don't even know what the foundation of that joke is. I just want to say it to Farmer Lowell's, right? I just want to. I want to be a funny moment for others, and I don't fucking understand the joke. I I want to say that. Of course, I can't because you know you're gonna get canceled or not, right? But, but so, so then you do hold shit back, though. You do. So so I guess I guess yeah, you do hold shit back. Sometimes I want to fucking jerk off, and I don't do it on stream because I get banned. No, so yeah, I'm holding not, back. No. Nah, not bad. So you're, no, 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 he's saying like saying some shit. Why would you have the impulse to jerk off on stream? He's That's just, not. He's the same giving an example. Joke. He's giving an example, bro. No, I'm just saying like. Well, it's not, it's not, it's not what about it isn't it, uh, either. I'm just saying there's a lot of things that, that you do hold back that are inappropriate. Just like in the real world, when you have a real conversation with somebody, you hold back certain things. Well, it's not about being weird. inappropriate. Yeah, but so I've never been okay. having a conversation with someone and wanted to jerk off. Like, I'm okay, not a okay, psycho. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I go to a party, okay? I That's go to a party crazy. and I, I meet the, 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 this group of people and this girl has gigantic titties and I'm a big titty guy. I look at it, I'm yeah. I, I want to say, Oh my god, these are these are huge tits. I I like them a lot. <laughs> I want to say that. Yeah. Okay. Well, so what? What's say that? I don't say that ever. Fucking horny. Fuck. So I am only that. <laughs> oh my god, why are you so horny, bro? That's bad horny though. <laughs> no, 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 that's different every though. Every example you're giving no, no, is so horny. Yeah, that was mad horny. There, there's holding Josh. back. <laughs> there's holding back because of mature, Josh, maturity, look at your phone. situational awareness, context, context, shit like that, right? And there's holding back because of society's current day closed-minded awareness that they believe is woke right like th th those are the two differences right jerking off or telling a chick she has fat titties and you want to suck them like that's a maturity thing you hold back because you know it's not appropriate and it's not respectful right that has nothing to do with being real or fake that's why real and fake when you grow up is not black and white like it is when you're fucking 15 years old and that's why a lot of the chat can't understand that right what we're talking about are parameters that cause certain streamers to be censored because they'll get deplatformed and the main Fact. viewer bases Fact. will try to destroy them and rip train, them apart. Train, train. Two different I, things. I, I, I've talked to Destiny about this and he had a very good point about this, okay? I'll tell yeah, you yeah, why yeah. this shit works like that, okay? I, I've preached about this before and I said it once, I'll say it again, okay? The, pro okay. the problem with these things, okay, is, is, is that, is that uh, when you have we have uh, people that are that are literally yes. anti woman or anti whatever race or whatever right, and you make certain statements right that you know somehow are intricate and funny in a way, and, and you have to explain right, and you think that you're saying, oh dude, woman can't drive, huh? And the chat says, ha ha ha. People say, ha. But you know for a fact, a, a decent portion of people out there are like, yeah, they can't drive, fucking women. Nah, right? Like, she gave you trauma. That, <laughs> no, don't give a fuck. That's that's how it is. You are you are you are literally empowering people that are dog shit, validating them, making it yes. do more. And these yes. people are empowered by that. That's the yes, problem. That's it has why. it has a good yes. and as an influencer or as a platform, you're empowering that. You're giving them validity. That's yes, the problem. Two things that need to be made clear, though. Okay. When you say, "Oh, just slap that fucking woman." Yeah, fuck the one. Oh, no, 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 that's too far. What the fuck? I'm not gonna hold on. Hold on. Guys, guys, but it was hold a on, joke. Hold though. on, hold on. But it was a hold joke. Hold on, hold on. So we're all good. We're all good, though. It was a hold joke. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I want to say this, okay? So there's two things that I made, made, made clear, okay? Yes, yeah. you're right in that sense. I think there needs to be a responsibility to to explain the context, like I do, and that like I've learned to now, right? But the second thing that needs to be made clear is. 
This is a story as old as fucking time, okay? All of us can relate to this back in class, right? If the teacher gave us, let's say, no fucking test today, there was always that one dumb motherfucker, that fucking fat fucking cocksucker that ruined it for everybody, <laughs> fucking you. did something or said something, and the teacher's like, oh, he ruined yeah, it. Yeah. Test for everybody. Every time. So listen, so Every here's time. what needs to be made clear. It's not that the majority of who he's preaching to are incels. It's that there is going to be a small percentage of incels that don't understand what the majority of the group that's listening to him they don't, he doesn't understand the context of it because he is actually an incel. He is actually a sexist, right? Exactly. That small yeah. percentage. This yes. Is, so here's the thing. It's not that he's preaching to a general huge population of incels. It's that he has to go above and beyond and ruin the time of the greater population that understands it's a joke. Worrying about and be clear for the small percentage of incels yep. and actual sexists. If, if that's what you, you have to do, if that's what you have to do to stop, yeah. if, you, that, if that's the caution it takes, in your dialogue yes. to prevent people from doing crazy shit out there, right? Then so fucking be it. If that's yes, the price of people right. to but die listen, less often. People... Yo, chat, who's winning so far? Tate's joining back right now, guys. He said he's just restarting his internet. Be it. Yeah, those, that I don't give a fuck. Like that. Listen, no, if those that people is, no, already no, like no, no, that, X is right. then they're going to be X like right. that no matter what, listen, bro. But listen, Lose, It doesn't Lose. matter if Tate no, 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 is Lose. saying something or not. No, no, Lose, Lose, listen. Lose, listen, listen, listen. X is right, okay? I, all Tate has to do is add one line in there that gives that hint where he doesn't support that extreme sexism. That's it. That's it. You just make it clear. You're not actually, you're not supporting sex, sexism or misogyny. You make that clear and the jokes are not going to be taken this way by people like X or whoever else. That's it. You just add one line in there and that's it. If you don't it's add not, that, yes, listen, if you don't, wait, wait, real quick, real quick. X, Andy, X, X, who? If you don't, Here's Wait, the Andy, part I don't saying, agree who, with, okay? Andy, if you don't add is? that line, like listen, Andrews? Tate clearly is smart enough and aware enough and has gone through enough in life to understand when you don't add that line, you're going to get more viewers. Do you understand? So he doesn't want to give that line, not because he believes he's not doing uh, uh, what, what we're saying he's doing. He doesn't want to give that extra line because he's going to lose maybe 2% viewership. And he doesn't want to lose that. Do you understand? And that yeah, is I mean the issue I have. Exactly. It's why it's why I thought it was ironic that he speaks of the Matrix when it comes down to us losing losing income, whatever the fuck. When he he actually partakes in that Matrix for the attention the attention or money that he gets with his rants, knowing very well that he doesn't mean it in a certain way, but gains more by saying that for the people who are like that. He's part of that same Matrix. And he's like delusional that he doesn't. That's just that's delusional. Yeah, but it's all it's all it's all like a, it's all like a it's like an illusion. Like he doesn't want to lose the illusion. Like, oh, listen, then he's point, deluded and he needs some help. Like, like there's there's certain certain he knows what he's doing. I mean, he knows what he, he just doesn't care enough. Yeah, when he comes back and call, tell him you're a clown and you're acting in ways to gain like, it, and you're part like, of the Matrix, dumb fuck. Same, tell him. The shit that you said about, like, oh, what about Borat, who's like clearly like an offensive character? Yes. But like, it's like for entertainment. Like, why can't we just look at, at, at this guy as like just entertainment? Why does it have to be so deeply dissected? Like, it's not, he's not, if it's not, no, like no, Los is cracked the code. Literally, facts. What do you mean? Uh, be, because, so, like, me so, personally, I look at it, I don't watch a religion, but I look at it as I don't take this nigga serious. It's entertainment. Nah, Los, it's, what you just said, it has to be a bad Los, Los, what you just said, everybody can be as positive as you, bro. It's facts. Not everybody can be as positive. Los, what you just said is 100% true. That's what I'm saying. He's a character, bro. He's a character, and it's like, don't get You went up being positive and doing your thing. You went up being toxic. That's then, him? then, then let's not even be here and just call the call. No, okay. Canada, there's, there's no point being here. There's, 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 there's no point. No, I'm not getting. There's, there's no point. Millions of people being like you spreading a good message, and me seeing Tate troll or whatever the fuck he's doing. I'm not gonna feel the need to like. Oh my God, you're a fucking terrible person. Okay, yeah. then, then I would rather I'd rather uh, spend my time doing other shit than, than empower uh, uh, fake dog shit messages. That, that are translating to comedy for entertainment. Yes, while, that's while what we're causing real life damage. Wait, 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 I'll give you a good example. I won't lose on it. I don't give a fuck. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'll give a great that's, example. That's why, we, that's why we have you to watch you to, to, to when we want to be serious and we're being dead ass. That's what we want to see. Nigga, it. Yeah, it's like a good debate. Like XQC. Yeah. Hey, I have, can I, I have a good example. The same actor who did Borat. He has a show called like This Is America or something, right? Yes. And he's like, he has like four different characters. Yes. That are clearly like psychotic. Like there's like a racist dude. There's like a yes. a guy who loves guns and all this Absolutely, stuff, right? Absolutely, one hundred percent. Playing a character for entertainment, 
what nobody's like mad at him because there's like dude but I get what you're saying. You could like you don't know if if Tate is like himself or playing a character. That's why you even are wanting to debate him. Okay, you're 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 comparing that that um you're literally comparing it like 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 a pro where it's, it's his entire life went with the comedy school some shit. The whole thing is comedy. He did skits for big co corporate companies and makes mm -hmm. a dark joke about about Asian people, whatever the fuck. You're comparing that guy to the to the Modern Warfare Two lobby guy that says it. Eh, no 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 no. And you're comparing these two guys like, what? oh yeah, that was the joke. What? Like, what? This guy in my Marvel <laughs> lobby, such a comedian. What? What a good intricate joke he did right there. Just what a good, what a lobby, good bro. He's comedian. On the bro, show. he's lost his, he's losing he's his marbles. Not, oh, he's not a random guy. What? Yes, he, in those topics, in those, in those area, is, is, is he known to fucking d uh, uh, debate to a high degree with intellectual people? He's, no, he's becoming not. known. Dude, how did he get known? How did we all see it? We all saw a clip of him saying some crazy shit. And then we, and, and people laughed at it. That's how we all <laughs> hey, first I like seen this to, be fair, to be fair to X's argument, I actually saw him for the first time ever on Aiden's stream last yeah, me stream. Me too. I'm not gonna lie. Me too. That's my first time. Okay, okay. And, and what was he talking about? Wait, that about? was your first time ever hearing about Tate, Trey? That was my first guys, time. Okay. No, 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 okay. not hearing, not hearing. Because everyone in my chat goes, oh, you're literally Twitch's version of Tate. And, and I, I I used to take it as, because all I used to hear was like, incel this, incel that. I'm like, the fuck you guys talking about, right? So the first time I actually heard him speak was on your stream. But I've heard his name. Because yeah. people compare me to him for some right, reason. Right, right, right. Guys, guys, guys. This to me, this, this, this show, you could call it, at, at 5 a.m. in the morning, to me, to me, that's like a little bit of a behind the scenes. Okay, I'm not talking to chat. I'm not doing crazy to entertain them. I'm not doing the monkey dance. Okay, we're just here fucking talking. To me, that's the behind the scenes. When you say that Borat guy, he goes he goes on the news often, right? And he has interviews. Does he go on on, on crazy, insane rants or like that? No, he shows up and talks like a fucking normal motherfucking human Wait. being and says normal shit. Is yeah, that character? Yeah, that character is very racist. Yeah, it's my it's my character. I work on that. I did research for that. I do that for a fucking living. Right now, I'm talking. About, and to me, I would expect when he comes here, he's just talking. But you guys say, oh, no, he's going on crazy rants because it's a character, it's a character, it's a character, it's a character. What is that? It's not. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean by the monkey dance? What do you mean by the monkey dance? What do you mean by that? Hold on. Top G is back. Hold on. Yeah. Yo. What's up, Top G? I'm trying to did just fucking I'm go for a run. Bro. Something's wrong with my internet. I don't know why. Is there bad Wi-Fi over there? It's a broken broke internet. internet. It is. <laughs> Can you hear me now, though? Yeah? yeah. Yeah. All right. So where where were we? Uh, I don't remember. It was um. Uh, fuck. Again, yeah, video. Yeah, reiterate. Yeah, video. Reiterate. Because we were we were talking about when you went out there. I believe you were. I believe before he lagged out, you were giving the example of how before he gave the example that uh, the male accidents that are high are young males, and he gave an example that he wouldn't hop in a car with an eighteen-year-old chick. And you said that he's countering or he's being hypocritical and being contradictory to his previous statement that young men cause accidents. The majority of men, male accidents. Georgiana, is that your maid? Uh, no, it's a masseuse. Georgiana, can you bring my sunglasses, please? I don't know where they are. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> right. Yeah, She's she like, why is, why is he talking to me like that? He didn't talk to me like that off camera, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> So what were we talking about? <laughs> yes, yeah. He definitely apologizes to her. And yo, yo, I think, yo, be real. When the camera sure. goes up, you're apologizing. Like, yo, I'm sorry, I'm speaking to you that way. Turn takes care of her off camera. None of this shit. I'll give you a good tip today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, that light. internet lag. That's what could set this skit up for sure. Wait, who that? Wait, who that? Yeah, who down the right? Who down the right? Though? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta. Oh no! Oh my God, who is that? Oh no! Never mind. You got no. Yo, X, cover your eyes, bro. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So what are we arguing about? Yo, not nah, this guy, bro. Look at this guy, bro. This nigga is way cool as shit, bro. Yeah, I got a lot of things to say. This Maybe man's a GTA bro. character. <laughs> bro, look at this nigga, bro. Well, I, I had, I, I, it's not organized. I had the massage planned, but Aiden messaged me. So obviously she has to she has to do it while I work. That's how it goes. Okay, interesting. I, I don't know what we're arguing about. I don't know. I, I I think we're going off the deep end. Yeah, but I <coughs> and he said something about the Matrix, and uh, he said the um, 
my, my income depends on um, me acting a certain way, so I preach, I preach the choir type of shit. When I would, I said that I genuinely think that you have your own your own matrix in that regard, and you do the same for your views and your things. That's how it is. Well, I think that different people appeal to different people. That's fine. That wasn't the point I was making at all. The point I was making at all is that you are not allowed to have a controversial opinion. I am. The, that's the point I was making. The point I was making is that I do not need the internet to be rich or to be significant. So I don't give a fuck. I've been banned a thousand times. I'll be banned a thousand times more. And it doesn't even cross my mind. My point is, respectfully, if you were to conclude through your own personal experiences, if you were to come to a conclusion which you know the parameters of the matrix C is controversial, you still wouldn't even fucking say it because it's all risk and no reward for you. That's why I'm saying that for you to sit here and disagree with everything I say, I understand why you're doing it. Okay. I also understand why you will ignore your own eyes and your own ears and your own personal experiences. You'll ignore them completely because it doesn't benefit you to talk the truth. You will sit here and you will repeat the new okay. thing, the new okay. speech. You will say what you were supposed to say. That is your, we all have different... Oh my god. No. This, yo, this motherfucker. Damn. Bro, this bro, mother why did he just go in his pocket? Bro, why is his internet so fucking bad? <laughs> no! Yo. Back. What? Uh, we, can't, we can't see anymore. Yeah, I mean, I, I was gonna, I was gonna <laughs> argue that, um, well, 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 I, I what are you saying? It just, it just doesn't really make sense. X2, like, are, you, like a, are you the one booting him? The RPT Wi-Fi. Yeah. Dude, I, think yeah. I, I think that you're trying to argue with him and it'll never work. Yeah, it's not going to work. Because he's 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 never going to sit there and like admit like, oh, you're right. Like, that's not his character. He's never going to say you're right. I ain't a lot. I well, think you guys like are like, literally wait, wait, polar and, opposites. Like you guys are just basically. Then, and if, we, if, if we know it's a character, why are we even here and talking about this shit? We should talk about how how women should do this and that and have fun with some bullshit fucking comedy skit. And what the fuck are we doing this anyway? Then, I mean, his whole well, thing right now like, is like he's he's free and he's not held by the respect every, by the if, internet and shit. Every time I win an argument, can. you say he only said this argument for entertainment, and because because that it's it, it it's content or wacky or whatever the fuck. But what if it's not for entertainment though? Oh man, I mean, he, I mean, Low said it absolutely 100 it was, so why bother? I, I mean, mean I thought, I thought all thing. of this is supposed to be entertainment. Like, everything. I mean, everything it's entertaining in its own way. The fact that it's kind of well, real to a certain point is also making it even more entertaining. Yeah, it is kind of like, I, I yeah. believe Tate believes all this shit, but all the extra shocking fucking clips that you see, I, 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 it's entertainment. Like, it's pure it's entertainment. entertainment. But what he's speaking like, about, like, like, I think it's the bigger exaggeration of the truth. Like, literally, the big exaggeration of his truth. Like I said, the fact that, it's, that it has a portion of real, right, or a good amount of it, it's what's it's even more even more entertaining. That that's that's kind of how it works. Why why is a prank good to watch on YouTube? Because it's real. The the bigger the pranks get, the less it's consumable, and you like watching it. And a and a fucking story has to be somewhat authentic, right? Except, except I love you're tape, saying that bro. this guy is in China, Chatty, I love him. rants and <clears throat> all of his takes are all prefabricated for maximum entertainment and none of it is real, which I think is a complete fucking, it's an absolute oversight. <laughs> the Matrix doesn't want you. Can you see? Yeah. You can see, yeah. Someone's shutting me down. No, he's, we're, he's been, Andrew's saying that the, the Matrix, which I agree, has not wanted to talk. I agree because like it's shut him down all the time. W translator, w translator, w translator. I'm not dick sucking, Soki. Somebody stopping the fucking connection. You're putting it all in there, bro. Just chill. Tell him shit. Tell him shit. Maybe we could talk about another topic, and then maybe it's gonna be less controversial and be less fucking less matrixers somehow. Less. Bro, I don't get it. I was told that you disagree with everything I say, so I'm just here to. Yeah, most I mean. Some of the motivational shit or whatever the fuck, it's like reiterated stuff that, that you hear on in fucking uh, billionaire self-help books or some shit, which is, which are fine. I think I agree, I agree with a lot, a lot of them. I'm not going to fucking dick ride and say that I agree with the rest of them because that, that's what people do, you know? You say a lot of true shit and you slip some dog shit in the middle and then people will take it as a truth, which is fair. Well, I don't, 
Well, I don't try and slip dog shit into my views. They're my views are my views, and they're based on my personal experiences, and I don't try and slip dog shit in. I, I, I don't attempt to do that on purpose. I don't think it's dick riding to agree with everything someone says either. I don't think it's dick riding to agree with people. Thank you. The internet, like I said, I, I, I'm not. I'm new to all this space. It's weird. It's a weird place. Like If, you, if I were to come along and say I 100% agree with all of the things that X man says, people are going to insult me for that. I don't see... I'm not saying I agree with every single thing about his being, but the things he says on the internet, I may agree with all of them. What's wrong with that? Yeah, I, I, I see. I also agree with that. I also agree that this new the thing of meta of saying, oh, Dick Wright or whatever, because you generally agree with all the takes. It just so happened to it. People say Dick writing, that's fucking stupid. I also agree. Okay, but um, other than that, though, I just feel like a lot of times, like I said, I agree with some of your good takes, right? About things that are motivational, whatever the fuck, right? Whenever you, you just slip in some garbage, fuck. right? It happens a lot. Hold on, hold and on, I, hold on, I, hold on, actually, you might have frozen. Yo, DC? Tate, you think DC? Hey, Tate, look at him. Look at him, bro. He's done, <laughs> look bro. at him, bro. Look at him. He's done, bro. <laughs> He's having the time of his fucking life in that He's image, bro. He's having the time of his life. He's having the time of his life. Hey, man. Angelato X, Angelato X, um, what? That's cap, bro. Like, if, if you, if, like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, Aiden, like Aiden will deliberately agree with anything a certain person says, and that's Dick Rodder, bro. It's why I'm here. Why I'm here bring up what Dick Rodder. What, what did I say tonight that was Dick Rodder? Explain. Because, bro, because last time you just said that the Matrix doesn't want him to. Bro, bro. I'm trolling, bro. Like, do I really think the Matrix is stopping this shit? No, bro, I'm trolling, bro. <laughs> Come on. Nah, nah. I think even last time in the fucking dating show, what the fuck? A lot. See, a lot, a lot of times, a lot of, you are kind of Dick Rodder. It when you nod your head and you say yes, it, it's kind of like soft. But it's still I, there. I feel like Aiden is just easily. I feel like Aiden just easily persuaded. Yes, he is. I think, he I, is. think the, I, I, I think, think, I think the motherfucker talking just has to sound like he knows what he's talking about. Aiden be like, oh, okay. Yeah, bro, I don't mind Aiden. I think he does it so the people, the people fucking uh, give him entertainment, motherfucker. Okay, I, I'm sure he doesn't like some of the songs, some of the rappers that come on the stream a lot. And these are dogged songs, right? Because uh, they're good and WWW, so they come on the show and they fucking talk to him for a little bit. Okay, I, that's okay <laughs> too. I don't, I don't see a problem with that. I, that's, that's fine. Dick Rodder, that is a form of Dick Rodder. If you personally think a rapper is trash. Yes. Yeah, and you still bring him on the platform yes. because your fans think it's fire. Yes. That's dick rotting. All right, it's why I don't do that because I would assume a person that, that back. thinks. He said tonight, though. Not coming tonight, back. He said tonight, though. He'll do it. Okay, right, yeah, a person. Okay, so why I, my takes about music are clear. Night. This guy makes bad songs and I don't like his music. And you know what? You, you know what? You know, dude? I would appreciate it if they would still come on the stream to, be to talk fair. about other shit or about oh, the music or whatever. Yeah, to it's be still a good conversation. To we be fair. I'm not, yeah. I'm not bringing no rapper on my stream that I think the music is trash, bro. I'm sorry, bro. That, that, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do we need to talk about? Unless, unless if it's no, to debate about is, the trash music, I wouldn't have. Yeah, no, that, that, about is, what so, music, that, that like, is so inexperienced. That is so young. Listen. Bro. A rapper isn't just his music. You could like the dude as a person. Oh, and just okay, that's different music, though. That's different. Right? Different. Okay, that, that, okay yeah, that's different. Talking but, to right, somebody different. who's successful in his own is, field and his own way wanted, is interesting. The but dick if, if you clearly in, don't like their music and then you get in a show, oh my exactly, God, this is so no, Play me some new, play me some of your yeah. new shit. You fucking with it like, oh. No, no, no. no, no, no. I can't oh, lie. He's going to try one more time. He's going to try one more time. He's going to try one more time. Hold on. I'm going to lie. I'm going to holler at you though. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm going to lie. I'm too tired. I'm too tired. I need, okay. to, bro. I need to, bro. I'm a, I appreciate you. I'm a, I appreciate you. I'm X, you staying? Bro. I can get it back in here. You staying? Yes. Right. Yeah. Bro, bro, I wish you guys understood how many teams I've made for tournaments with people that I actually think that are bad players or bad streamers. And I, and I, and I tell them, I don't give a fuck. I was with the problem is I don't watch or consume your content because I don't enjoy it. Why did you take that as a, like a personal attack? Oh my God. Every people that's around in my industry need to like my shit and, and like watching my... Bro. Why do you have to? You don't. People have very specific takes. I, I would feel insulted if somebody came, came in here and said, you like my content, just to connect with me, right? Just to connect with me, they said they like my shit. I'm more insulted by that but the, than somebody who's saying that they don't like my content. It's true, what you're saying I is mean, true. I think it's more so like, let's say I don't like Drake music and Drake wants to be on my stream. I'm not gonna change up, yo, I like Drake music. I'm like, no, I still, He's still kind of mid to me, but we could talk about it on the stream. We could talk Wait, about it. Who, you who's mid to you? Wait, I didn't, you broke up a little bit. Who's mid to you? Drake is not mid. Drake bro. isn't mid. I was just a hypothetical. Oh, Drake okay, okay. Mid. I was just, I was, yeah, I was just checking. I was just checking. Hypothetical, you know. Yeah, I was just saying. Like, like last time, I, I spoke with him. Was it Lil Uzi? Lil Uzi, Vert, uh, uh, even on, even on the stream. I, I talked yeah. for him a little bit, right? And and 
I, some of his songs, I fucking love them. Some of his songs, I don't like them at all. I don't even listen to it twice. I don't Uzi even does not make song. bad I songs. It, Name one who bad. Uzi. I th I think some of them are pretty bad. Who's and great? A story. Not Uzi has some. Okay, I, you I just say every don't Uzi, like Uzi got misses, but they're not bad. Most of his songs are good. Yeah, my yeah. Like, yeah. This, if I don't listen to your song twice, in my opinion, it is not a good song in my perspective. And a story doesn't mean that. Oh, oh, it's a miss. No, a miss to me is not a good song. If it's a miss, it's not a good song. Not miss. I, yeah, I use the wrong word. Look. Mid. Mid's the word to me. I, I use mid. So you don't then think you have a single miss? Like, oh, that shit was actually trash. I can't um, listen to that ever again. Of course. I, I, no, not trash. I'm going to be honest. I, lo I love Uzi. He's like one of my favorite artists. I'm, I'm very biased. It's like J. Cole, like like Travis, like Drake. I'm very biased when it comes to those artists. Uh, I'll be honest. Drake's newest album, I didn't like it that that much. I like two songs off it. So what about you? I I, I liked it a lot. I liked a bunch of a bunch of songs off of it. And you know what? A lot of his other shit from the past, I didn't like it. Chat knows this. I didn't like his old songs, a bunch of them. Which one? But some of them, some, some of them that go into the, like a, a facade from the bottom. Now we, I always hated that song. A lot of his popular songs, I don't like. A lot of his new stuff, I actually like for once. So mm. who cares? Uh, Drake's last album, I feel like it's just really good beats and really good background no, music. It's and good. It's good. a lot it's, of quality. Yeah, it's good for like clubs. And, yeah. Sonically, all type of different ways. Not just, okay, this is a fire beat and a fire fucking rhythm, right? Like, nah. It was too for Drake's standards. It wasn't. It wasn't giving me what I need. Okay. Well, I a lot of rap music I don't like. A lot of hip hop music I don't like. Like, like you guys like them. I like, like a lot of stuff, and I like a lot of it more like uh fucking EDM shit sometimes. And I have other tastes. And that album was a cool mix, and it was like a f breath of fresh air into what I didn't know Drake did, and I enjoyed it for that. For that effect, I enjoyed it. And to me, that's enough to make a good album. Have you been to a rave, X? Yeah, I used to go to rave all the time. I've been to concerts. Uh, all the time, like crazy amounts. Hmm. That's far. Um, <laughs> nah, but I mean, shit. I think I used to go to after hours all the time. Uh, uh <sighs> things that start at three a.m. and, and at uh, noon. Hmm. Damn, hell no. That's what? crazy. That what shit, the fuck? Wait, three in the morning to noon? They start at three a.m. and they, they close at noon. Bro, have you heard the story of me uh doing meth? Huh? Bro, I stayed oh, up seven that? days. Seven days. What did you feel? Train, you've done math. Is yeah, this back destiny? When I, back when I was 20. Back when I was 20 years old. Oh. You, I, did, it, you did it once? Yeah. I, well, I, I was hooked on heroin for four years, and I did meth once. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah. But, dude, meth was crazy. Listen, bro, here's what happened, okay? But, guys, don't do drugs ever. But, pretty much, listen, here's how you know that shit's fucked up. Yeah. So, it was like... I still mix up the days a little bit, but you'll pretty much get the gist of it, okay? So, like, Thursday night, 2 a.m.-ish, we, you know, smoke some meth, go to the casino, do whatever the wait, fuck, wait, right? what? Smoke what? <laughs> meth, meth. Just hear me out. Listen. I remember coming back home at, like, 6 a.m. or some shit, right? And this dude puts on the worst possible game you could on PlayStation, right? He puts on, like, MLB. So, we're playing MLB on PlayStation, Right, we're playing, and all I remember is I decided to get up, go outside, and check my phone just to kind of stretch a little bit because he had this tiny apartment. I had like 180 missed calls, and I checked my phone. I'm like, what the fuck? Why do I have all these missed calls? You know, I'm thinking maybe it's you know Friday in the middle of the day. Nah, 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 nah. It was Tuesday the next week. I sat there and played MLB for like six days straight. What? Six what? days straight, no food, what? a little bit of water, and that's it, dude. Like, it was nuts. Maybe a couple snacks in between. I played MLB on PlayStation for six days. If any of you have played MLB on PlayStation, you know that's a boring-ass fucking game. So <laughs> Jesus, if you can play man. it for six days and not notice... You know how nah, fucked up crazy. we were. Hey, that game could nah. be kind of fun if you play against somebody. Not dude. six days straight. Not six yeah, days. Okay, not six days. Yeah. When we talk in six days, Jesus like Jesus Christ, dude, you're not falling asleep. Not on meth, brother. We were hitting that pipe every fucking like ten minutes. What the, what fuck? the fuck? You're kidding me, bro. We were twisting that thing like you know, real pro style. <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. Bro, I was 20 years old, bro. Like I, I, I had just come off heroin. You know, I, I, um, oh, said, I, I did that shit. Did on, a little quick said, speed bowl. We said call. A lot of people don't know this about me. Like I've been, I've been like. 
trust me, I've had my experiences and my, you know, I, I've been on the bad parts of, you know, life. That's, you know, kind of how I've become who I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm a little Understood. pussy. I haven't tried a drug in my life. Well, What's you shouldn't. Bro, six good. days, good. though, man. Wait, you I, never I, I, had weed? You never tried weed? Not yet. Trent, I thought you were going to say something, something like, add some, like, Addy shit where you fucking double down no. and you're, you're fucking doing, like, your room and, like, clean Train. the whole room in your mom's room and went to the no, basement and start no. fucking clean the bin and you fucking rebuild the entire fucking room set. Dude. Train, like, three years I ago. I was going to go Train, like, three six years. Six days, though. Three years ago when I first graduated and I first moved to LA, um, like, I remember I was outside of this, like, club. And I hit yeah. someone's weed, and they like put shit in it, bro. And I got laced like bad. What, like, was, like some white widow or some shit? Like it, some cocaine? It, it, it was, it was, it was coke. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, finally, look at this guy, bro. And that's um, not white widow right there. And Benny, I think it's called. Uh, it's just it makes you tired. It's like a whatever. But the point no, is, but, uh, I was so young, just tripping the fuck out, bro. Like, and that's what, like it's crazy. Yeah. Like that's that shit was like really scared for me. I was like really, I had a bad anxiety attack. It was fucked up. Can I can yeah. add the lady if she's a paid actor? You think, if you, if you, uh, do you think she's a paid actor? Andrew. Yo, I'm Aiden. A... Aiden, honestly, yo, Andrew, honestly, give me your masseuse's uh, Bitcoin address. I'll send her like 100 grand. She'll never have to do that again. <laughs> you have Bitcoin? Bitcoin, you know what <laughs> You don't have? I'm going to set you up because this baller here is going to send you 100 grand. I know he wouldn't lie online. I wouldn't like, lie. See, oh, he thinks yo, 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 he's captain. He, he thinks Trey's actually captain. No, 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 oh man, you have no <laughs> idea. I hope not. I hope not. Like I, I would respect <laughs> very much. He thought that I was fucking around trying to man up. Oh, I'll do it. That would change her life, and I would love to see that. That would make me Happily, very happy, baby. I got it. Set her up. Just make sure it's going to her, not you or anyone else. Please. Bro, she's, she's giving you great massages. Why don't you tr change her life, bro? Come on, man. But uh, you do you have any family members or children who understand Bitcoin? Your, your children have Bitcoin? Nothing? Uh, bro, if you set her up an account and, uh, like, cash it out for her and, like, somehow set up a bank, like, I'll send extra just for that. Like, if you have an assistant or someone that can do that, I'll oh happily God. take... Can you do that? Yeah, I'll get someone on it now. Send it All right, yo, add me on Discord. Add me on Discord. We'll get this done for her. I'm down. All right, awesome. Um, All right, cool. As for the internet, it's something that's happening on the street because there's people out in the street complaining. So it's the whole street, the internet. Keeps Yo, coming. just for the uh, just for the oh, record, gotcha. uh, yeah. I can't add you. You don't accept phone requests. Just add me, and then I'll accept you. Cool. And we'll get this done. Cool. I'm gonna lose my masseuse, but it's fine. Nah, she won't leave you. If anything, she'll love you more for this because this, this is the opportunity given, right? You brought her on the platform, and I gave her a hundred hundred thousand. You're right, but I don't have a clue how to add people as friends, bro. I'm 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 an old just, man. Uh, you see that big ass nose right there? That big ass nose picture? Just click that right there. Right click it. Go to profile bro, and then go to send friend request. The one that says train wreck. Right click on. Bro, I have a question. I have a question here. Bro, how, how, how did you start and how did you pick money? Yeah, he's, yeah he's the fucking fit. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys, you yeah, how, how'd you become the richest man on the planet? Trillionaire or some shit? A trillionaire. Yeah, how'd that happen? So I, I first, I was a kickboxer for a long time. I'm, I was fighting for money. Um, there's not that much money in kickboxing. And then my first serious entrepreneurial, I mean, I had, I, I ran lots of businesses, did this, did that. Some things like what? You can't everything, man. I, I had a normal job for a while when I was kickboxing and I did some different things and I did some things I shouldn't have done and blah, blah, blah. And was in, in jail for a little while and got out. And then I, uh, I opened up a webcam company. I had girls sitting on the internet talking to men and I ended up scaling that up to having 75 women. Uh, working for me. That's how I. That's how I first made millions of dollars. Fucking porn website. Damn! What the fuck? You don't know this story. This is like the, my most known story you never, online. You, you never. You never told it to me. It's a really long story, and I've told it. I've, I've. I've told it very, very well on some other podcasts. But the short version of it was, I got in some debt to some dangerous men, and I needed money fast. And I was sitting in my uh, room trying to work out a way to make money because at the time I was only fighting, and I didn't have a fight coming up for a while, and I was. I was researching how money works like i was trying to understand how money works where it comes from this is where i learned about the federal reserve and fractional reserve banking and all these things so interesting point he made earlier about you know the matrix and its currency and how it's all a lie i understand all that very well but that really made me mad because now i understand money's bullshit and i still don't have any and i was really upset and um i was sitting there with a piece of paper trying to write down my assets and my liabilities and like you know trying to write down all the geek shit they tell you and for assets, I wrote down that obviously, you know, I'm, I'm strong, but I'm already fighting. I'm brave, but I'm already fighting. I had all these girlfriends, but, but I thought 
well, I don't. I can't afford to open a strip club. I'm not going to put them out on the track. I'm not that kind of guy. They're my girls. And then I discovered by accident oh. when I was clicking around on these these uh, websites, I saw those things in the corner, you know, talk to live girls now. And I thought, well, my girls could do that. And long story oh. short, long story short, I ended up with uh, a, a 75 women and four premises and making $1.3, $1. four million million a month. And that's how it all started. That was about 10 years ago. Wow. Holy that's shit. Story. Yeah, that's. I mean, there's a very there's a lot there's an in depth version of it, but that's the story, and and people listen to that and they seem to think that for some reason I was exploitative, but it's absolutely the opposite. It's I'm a I'm a feminist, bro. I empower women to make as much money as they want to make, and I help them do it. I'm I'm a I'm I'm here and <laughs> as long on. as it's as long as it's for you, but right? it's, it's for them. He was a pimp. Hold on, it's no, for them. No. so so look, X X. This is what I w I wanted to actually ask the question because I know it was a question that you had. Hold on, um. Andrew, the uh, one of the one of the takes that you made on my stream about um, that you should take a hundred percent of you know your girls only fans. I know X, you 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 felt a type of way about that, um, Andrew. That's yeah, still. I mean, they, they, I mean, they said that you were joking hundred percent, and you weren't joking. So I, I assumed that you were joking, but I still hold this take that you weren't. Well, it depends, right? So if if it's a girl who were to come to me and say, Andrew, I would like you to help me make money on OnlyFans. And they would come to me for my marketing expertise. And of course, it would be a fair deviation. I make 20%, 30%, whatever. That's different. But if it's my girlfriend, my long-term term partner, and we're going to be together forever, and she decides to go down that particular career path, I think I should have a much larger stake because she is my girl. And she is now giving away some of the most private and intimate parts of her body to the internet. Those parts of her body belong to me effectively because she's my woman. That's the whole point of being with somebody. So to be to pretend she's going to do that and make a bunch of money and give me nothing is, I find that disrespectful. I would, I would sooner tell her, "Look, you're not doing OnlyFans," and she would always. So I called it then that you weren't, you weren't actually joking. It was an actual true statement, right? Yeah, if, if I had a ser if I had a serious long term girlfriend and me and her are together and we're going to be together forever, and she says I'm desperate to do OnlyFans, I say you don't need to. We're rich. She goes, No, I okay. really, really. I say okay, the money's mine then. I yeah, then we, we, we can we can disintegrate. We can dismantle these statements into one at a, like small rocks. We can approach them one at a time, right? Because there's a lot of, that I, I, respectfully. Okay, I think there's a lot of parts of that that are garbage, right? But we, I don't want to say something at the whole rock, and we have to do small rock pebble at a time, you know, right? So uh, I, 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 also, this motherfucker can laugh over here. You see, you see it next to me, uh, Los Polos. He's laughing, but he said you were trolling, so you were joking 100%. But like he's only a star right now, because he's he, maybe he's oh, gonna be, right? But crazy. he said you were wrong 100% about this, and so it's wrong that you were joking. So I don't know why he's holding a star right Wait, now. What, what did I do? I'm it's just a very, saying. It's a very, very particular scenario, right? You have to understand that the scenario in which I would take 100% is a very, very particular one. In general, when I had my, my business, and I know you're saying that they only made money for me. They made money for themselves. I turned girls. I, I would actually sit here and say, as the biggest misogynist on this panel, I've turned more girls into multimillionaires than any of you. I've made girls multimillionaires. This is 10 years ago at the beginning of all this shit, before OnlyFans, when webcamming was new. I took girls from Starbucks and made them millions and millions and millions of dollars and paid them fairly, never missed a single paycheck. Okay. I'm as, I'm as feminist as you can get. Now, yeah, I go. Well, like, I, like I said, I don't, I don't, okay, there's, there's no disrespect once again. Okay, I just feel like this is like um, the type of argument that, that goes like I have three friends that are black when making uh, certain comments or whatever. So I don't, unfortunately, don't, don't, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. I don't this, get mad at, you. mad at you. Okay, okay, okay. Well, respectfully, I think that is, that is genuinely the, the, the same vibe energy comment, right? Oh, I can't be against women because I helped four or five of them. Oh, no, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not against women because I made a couple of them millionaire or whatever the fuck, right? Saying, it's not about being against women. I'm saying that my, the whole was a net positive for both me and the females. So you misunderstood my point. You think I'm making a different point, and that's why you've come to that conclusion. The point I'm making is that everybody who worked for me won. The only person who lost was the guy sending his money away online. That's fine. But for everyone who was associated with me, both me, it wasn't exploitative because you made it sound like I only did it for me. No, the women who worked for me also made millions of dollars. Everybody who was associated yeah. with me won. Everyone won. All of them. Yeah, yeah, for business activities or whatever. Yeah, that that's fine. I don't think I, I wasn't talking about that at all. Um, all. All I meant was okay. But fuck it. Let's just skip this this um, tangent we're on. Just go. Let's just go back to the main argument you said. So you have I have more of a stake. So you think that in a relationship, you have a certain you have a certain stake on your uh, partner's income based on what that income comes from. Well, it depend yeah, depending on how they make it, absolutely. I think that in a relationship with a woman, if the man is with that woman, 
the main reason he knows he's with her is the fact that she is sexually exclusive to him. If you're with a woman and she's fucking everyone, are you even with her? No. How do you know she's even yours? Because she only sleeps with you, right? Well, if all of her intimate parts are now for everybody and they're purchasable, then I think you have a stake in said parts because those parts belong to you. She gives them to you when she decides so, to be a human. So, so there's a, there's a, a price that you're, 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 basically you're taxing your loss of privacy. To, that's a that's a way you could put it. I mean, personally, if my woman were to come to me and say she wanted to do OnlyFans, I just say no because I not. Okay, wouldn't. okay, then. But example. Okay. Yeah, I mean, respectfully, like, let's have an, uh, let's try to upscale that that discussion and see what what kind of stake would you need for your girl to suck another guy's dick. I would never tolerate that on any level. So that's too far. But well, there, well, I mean, there's a price for the pictures and the loss of intimacy. Correct. That, it's I think for me, it's a black and white thing. Well, Chad, for a million dollars, once you would lose a certain amount, you can lose more of it. Would you let your right? girl suck a dick? I understand what you're yes saying, no? but to me, it's yeah. not black. Because pixelated pictures on the internet are very different than sucking an actual dick. So I would never let my girls be prostitutes. None of the girls who ever watched me would? ever prostituted. I've never associated with a prostitute. I don't associate with porn stars, none of that kind of shit. But I had very wholesome girls with pictures of their titties on the internet 10 years ago who made themselves millionaires, yes. And now they are happily married okay. with somebody or whatever. Or some of them are still with me. It doesn't matter. But I never, I was never like getting girls to prostitute or hardcore pimping along that line. I don't even, I mean, I use the word pimp because I had a lot of women who worked for me and they were all beautiful and it sounds cool. But truthfully, <laughs> I, I don't even really see myself in that regard. I think I'm less of a pimp than most corporations. Like well, I, the girls who work, the girls who work for me, 50%, you don't get 50% of the cash register when you work at they, McDonald's. Okay. They can also, people can be pimps and companies can be pimps to a certain level, right? Which doesn't, has anything to do with you being a certain level of a pimp. I think sure. I don't think if your girl is doing something, an activity of her own, of her own will, uh, I I don't I feel like taxing her is that's being a pimp. Like quite literally, like you're you are pimping at the wazoo. Yeah, you are pimping. I understand, but and maybe you've never had the kind of relationships I've had with my women. But any woman I'm with it decides to, by her own free will, submit to me because she sees me as her intellectual superior. She sees me as her life superior. She looks up to me and she respects me, and she sees uh. me as her. She sees me as a uh, <laughs> And for that reason, if she were to come along and say, do OnlyFans, and I said, no, she wouldn't do it. But if she insisted on doing it, I would sit here and say, look, I'm unhappy with you doing this, making a bunch of money off of parts which are supposed to be intimate only for me. If this is going to happen, I need to have some kind of compensation for my unhappiness. Yes. And she would understand and she would pay me. But this is not a scenario I need to be involved in. This is just a hypothetical, right? But all the girls who worked okay. for me, they were not romantically involved. They were girls who decided to make a bunch of money and they came to the best of the business, which was me. So you would be okay with then paying them for their discomfort in some in other areas then? That'd be something that, you, that you're open to? Uh, sure. I mean, it, it, that's that's an interesting way to look at it. I mean, I think that uh, all men do naturally anyway, right? Let's, 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 I understand your point you're making, so let's extrapolate on it. You're yeah. saying that if I, if I do something that they're unhappy with, I should give them money. Well, the yes. point is, I think that all high value men do that naturally anyway. If you take a billionaire on a boat. Naturally, naturally, it's kind of indirect of a term. It's, it naturally is more more indirect and more like uh, like intended, right? Since for you it's it's, a, it's transactional and intentional, then in this example you have to use the same uh, framework for that example. Right. Same framework it has to be agreed upon. So let's say um, I don't want to be too gross right now. You're you're, you're with a girl and and you want to do something. Do you okay with the, with the thing of saying okay? Well, uh, keep, I mean I can't want to do that. I'll give I'll give you a, I'll, I'll give you ten k. I understand what you're saying. I don't think it works exactly that way, but I think that all men, especially high value men, are already in a transactional relationship to some regard. And that's not a bad thing. That's natural human nature. And the point I'm trying to make is that if you're a truly high status male, truly, if you're a billionaire with a yacht and you have 10 girls on that boat, the woman who's in love with you is going to let you fuck nine other women in front of her because she gets to be on a billionaire's yacht. She gets to go to private islands. She gets to not have to work. She gets to run around on jet skis and take Instagram pictures. So to some degree, are you not paying her for her compliance? To some degree, are you not rewarding her for her being in a situation that she's not completely happy with that is natural human nature and all high status males okay, do it okay as, as much as i uh, i would agree with you bro, that would cut them off bro that would that would be a part of something right part of some sort of fulfillment right um I, I would like my partner to be fulfilled in all the ways that i like to be fulfilled in a relationship if a girl's only with me because she's fulfilled in this in this in this money way but she's lacking on a bunch of other shit what's the point so let's 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 swip, let's swap the hypothetical. Let's say you're in love with a woman. She comes to you and she decides she wants to do OnlyFans. What do you say? Okay, so I've had a lot of things about OnlyFans before. A lot, bro. Answer the question. I I personally just just because I think it's gonna it's just gonna kind of annoying. I w I wouldn't go into it knowing she, knowing she's doing it. So right? you would 
So if your girl came to you and said, no, your girl's not already on OnlyFans. You're with a girl yeah. and she sees OnlyFans online. She decides she wants to start. She comes to you and says, I want to become an OnlyFans chick. You're going to say, yeah, go for it. Don't give me a penny. Go for it. Get rich. Show your titties. That's, that's going to be your answer? Uh, no, I just say, I say the, 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 I just, this is kind of annoying. It's an annoying thing. I, I, don't, I don't fully agree with it, right? So it'd be kind of cold. It's, it's cold. I don't like it. Well, this is this is the point. So I think it's it's your your and I understand this is really interesting what Train said earlier about internet language because when you make a point, you have to be very very careful with what you say. It's almost like politicians speak. But you're saying it's annoying. I wouldn't like it. That well, I'd say you're not allowed. That's what I'd say. I'd say you're not allowed to be on OnlyFans if you're my girl. Okay. And if you okay. are, you're okay. Not yeah yeah. The, the point I'm trying to make is that is that. I don't like it, and if it has to to a point, yeah, well, yeah, I, get, I guess question. I would break up. But it's not that's not like the, the um, I don't know if that's the main point though. What does that what, what does that prove? I think it's just it just it's just it's just lame. It's point. generally lame. Hey. All right, so the point I'm making here is that it's a situation that most men don't want to find themselves in. They're completely in love with the chick, and she decides to do OnlyFans. We're in a hypothetical situation. You, saying I'd break up with the chick is a boring answer. So assuming you have to stay with the chick, that's the parameters of the question to make the question interesting to answer. My answer is that I need to be paid for her to be doing OnlyFans. That's the answer in the <laughs> hypothetical situation. Your answer in the hypothetical situation is it's kind okay. of annoying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There are, there are parameters to this. Yeah. There's a bunch of parameters around that. It, 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 would, it, would be, it would be like, uh, I hope she's not doing it because of lack of fulfillment in certain ways in our relationship because that's a fucking problem. I, don't, I, don't, I, I, would, I wouldn't want my partner to, to go to places because she's craving a part of something she isn't getting in our relationship. As long as the thing takes away from a relationship, right, and the framework remains the same, then I guess it's kind of chilling. But that's kind of how it comes to OnlyFans because people do, people do it for a lot of reasons and a lot of, a lot of other ones. So it's, it's kind of... It let me, be let, like, do you mind me question how old are you 26 okay let me blow your mind young man women love no, just little bro women bro. love men they respect and let me tell you this and this is natural this is evolutionary it's biological this is why women have certain they have certain even even basic things like height right they're they're designed to be attracted to it evolutionarily because they respect larger men because they're more likely to be better at fighting they're better warriors women fall in love with men they respect not even men they like that much. It's men they respect. Men they like are their friends. Men they respect are the ones they fuck. And let me tell you something. If a girl were to come to me and say, I am intent on doing OnlyFans, and I would say, I'm uncomfortable with you doing that. I don't want you doing it. She says, Andrew, I love you, but I'm going to do OnlyFans no matter what. I would have to put together parameters and a framework in which she still respects me as a man or we're over. It's not even about the money. It's about the fact that you are my woman. I love you, you love me, and you're going to show me enough respect as a man that if you're going to get naked on the internet, you're going to at least reward me in some way. There's not going to be all these men paying you money and you making a bunch of money on the fucking side sitting in my house without me getting shit because that is disrespectful. And I would not allow her to disrespect me, not just because of my ego, but because of her own innate ability to not be attracted to somebody that she doesn't respect. If, okay. you, were to, if you were to come along and play things your way, if a chick were to come to you and say, I want to do OnlyFans, you would say, well, I don't like it. It's kind of annoying, da, da, da. And she started doing it. She would fucking leave. The girl Damn. is more likely to stay with me taking all her money than she is stay with you keeping all her money. And that may not make sense to you, but I one day it. you will understand. Okay, okay. No. I'm going to fire back at you and just say that, yeah. that whatever my relationship is lacking, whatever amount of respect that I'm losing, and whatever amount of privacy that I'm losing, you can't put a price on that. You can't revert that with money. You just can't do it. Can't do it. I want to feel fulfilled. And what fulfills me is that my partner is fulfilled and we're both on that like equal mindset, right? And you can't, you can't exchange that with money in a transactional way. You just can't, fuck, it doesn't matter the amounts, doesn't matter. It does make me fulfilled. So if, if, if the partner can make, can make up for it, whatever, whatever they're doing that they're lacking and they're going to like reverting it somehow, towards me, I guess we could find some sort of compromise, right? But it wouldn't be about money or be transactional yeah. money-wise. It just wouldn't. Brother, life is transactional, my friend. And to sit here and pretend that because things are transactional means there's no emotions involved isn't true. Life is transactional. If I'm completely head over heels in love with a woman and I love her with all my heart and I'm ready to take a bullet for her, it's still a transactional relationship. She still provides things and I still provide things that satisfy both of us. You do not sit here and stream for free. Life is transactional. So to sit here and pretend that things shouldn't be transactional is asinine. That's not the way the world okay. works. Every single You're thing in the world is sad. transactional. Even if I give money to charity, even if Train gives this... A lady who's massaging me a hundred thousand he's doing that one for clout two because he gets to feel good about himself he isn't it's not pure charity he gets to win too Actually, win. Yes. wait a second wait a second oh, wait a second, wait, a second. Wait, wait 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 no i gotta say something 
It's not for quiet. If you look me up, I'm actually hated and everything's justified that I do, but it is for the feel good. I get a high from it. The same high yeah. I get from gambling, I get from giving. Wow. My dick gets hard. So that's transactional, but it is not for cloud. I don't give a fuck about it. Just trust me. Do a little research. It is not the cloud part, but it is the high part from feeling good. Continue. Hey. Bro, it's the same with me. I, there's a there, there's Romania has an orphanage problem. A lot of orphans every single Christmas. I go down to the orphanage with the Rolls Royce, give a hundred grand, whatever, whatever, whatever. Am I the fucking nicest man in the world? Well, yeah, but also I feel good. <laughs> I feel good for doing it, right? Yeah. So like transactional. Yo. So the same thing thing shouldn't be transactional is asinine. That's not a right paradigm. You must okay. view the world in transactional sense. Yo, the world is transactional. Yeah, but you're, you're you're being a little bit obtuse, though. You you are I mean, deliberately obtuse about about what the nature of how we use <sighs> transactional. As a term, you're you're just saying, oh, it's all transaction. Yeah, of course. Then everything in life, if it goes one way, it comes back to another way. That's transactional. So everything, everything is. But but that's not how we use the word transactional. Transactional is more of a not an, in, an indirect. It's more of a direct thing. I'm doing this for that, right? That's cool. how that's how we normally use transactional. The way, you, the way you're saying is just oh, it's just an exchange of of, of of brain chemicals. I'm doing this, and I get I get this brain reward. Right. Let As an exchange, change. that's kind of that, that, that's that, that is obtuse. Fine. Let me change the way I ask you the question. Right. Because what, what I'm actually, and once again, you're only 26, you are smart. I can see you're smart, but you're 26. So if, if I were, if I were in your position and I had disagreed with everything that Andrew Tate had said, and Andrew Tate was going to come on a stream first, I'd have a list of everything he said. I disagreed with. You don't even have a list. So you haven't been very professional about your approach in this. You don't even know most of the things I've said. You're just saying this about, it's all very general. So in future, no, no, no. please say, say that again. Sorry about that. I, I was fucking distracted by, um, bullshit. Right. And fine. In future, in future, make a list of all my points you disagree with. So we can, we can be more systematic in our approach. Oh, but good, and, the problem is that you're a gish galloper. You're a professional at it. You're really good at doing it. Gish galloping it. You do it, dang, 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 and then uh, it's it's kind of hard to catch up because once we talk about something, it's already too late. Cool. Well, let me tell you what you're doing, just so you so you so you're aware. If I walk into NASA and I say that going to space is too expensive and too dangerous, and they say, "Well, yeah, I agree with you," and I say, "Okay, this is bullshit," and they go, "Well, what's the alternative?" and I cannot present an alternative. That does not make me a fucking physicist. That does not make me an astronaut. That makes me a jackass. So if you cannot propose a better alternative, then you have no point to make. And this is the point I'm making with you. The parameters of the question are you're in love with a woman who decides to do OnlyFans. You can't break up with her. And I have also added another parameter. You want to retain the respect and the authority in the relationship. You think that taking money in said situation is completely unreasonable and unfair. Fine. What is an alternative which is superior? And if you cannot name one, then it is the best of a bad choice. It may be an un unfortunate situation, but it's the best move in a bad chess position, and you must still make the best move. If you have a better move to make, I'm open to hear it. But if I'm in love with a woman, and I'm not going to break up with her, and she comes with me, and she insists on doing OnlyFans, my answer to retain my control and my respect in my relationship is for mm -hmm. her to pay me. That is my answer. If you have a better one, my ears are open. Okay, like, okay. like, I, like I said, <laughs> yeah. like I said... Whenever somebody does, does OnlyFans, it's because, of, because there's the, what, what does that come from? Right? It can be a lot of things of why they would do it. Only money or some sort of fulfillment or whatever, right? Some sort of fulfillment, right? If they're doing it because they're, they're lacking something in the relationship, they're taking something away from the relationship, yeah, that, that's a fucking problem. I guess break up. Break up. If I'm that uncomfortable, I'm not going to put a price on that. If I'm not going to be fulfilled in something and spend my entire life with somebody and be committed. There's no, there's no price you're gonna pay me to be deluded that we're at the same level of commitment. Break up. End of story. No alternative. One alternative. Break up. If you're that uncomfortable, I will not put a dollar amount on that. I will fucking break up and move on. And the fact that you can put a price on your lack of commitment or whatever you think you're lying by, because if they make but it only fans, it's not about the money. It's alarming. the principle chat, right? Yeah, so what he said, what he's saying was a hypothetical. He said in a real normal world, it's like, no, you just, we can't, no only fans, we break up. It is what it is. What he's saying, there's no breakup in this scenario. No breakup. What is the alternative of uh, the transaction? No, I said, and, I said, and break up. I, I said break up. That's alternative. You oh, fucking break up. Ex, this, also, this is hypothetical though. Also, actually, he's saying it's it's not about the money; it's the, it's the principle behind it. His know. hypothetical is no, like in a situation where you guys aren't breaking up, and it's just you need some. What what are you gonna do instead? I I have, I have hundreds of millions. I said of broke up. Break okay, up. cool. Okay, well okay. the point is okay. the point is I have hundreds of millions of dollars, and if my girlfriend did OnlyFans and made two dollars, she would pay me my dollar, and that's because it's principle. It's, it's the not principle. Yeah. Okay. Bro. Yeah. Still fair enough, but you can't. In my opinion. 
that the, the, the nature of that behavior of putting a dollar amount because of some lack of what it's the not fuck about the is fucking money. It's it's an alarming logical conclusion. It's just bad. What, what else about me do you find alarming? No, I'm just saying it's alarming. <laughs> That's it. Okay. What else about my views or things you've heard me say or my attitudes or my life approach? Oh, my think? girl can't go out. That's fucking alarming as shit. My girl can't go out? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's discuss this. I, discuss I, it. All right, cool. So I take I take my girlfriends out all the time, right? Cool. But if Yo, my girl were to say I want to yeah. go out with seven other girls to the club, in my personal experience, I'd be unhappy for her to do that because I've been the man in the club that those seven girls turn up to and end up on his table and I know what happens. I've lived a very, very <laughs> long life. I know how that ends. Now okay. Now, I, I think that, and I've discussed this already before. I think I discussed this yesterday with Dave Portnoy, which he got upset about. <laughs> I, dis I discussed that if I'm going to be in a relationship and I'm going to have responsibility over a woman, which I want to have because it's my masculine imperative, I should also have a degree of authority that comes with that responsibility. If I'm responsible for her safety, for example, but she refuses to obey me when I say don't walk home in the middle of the night, then how can I truly be responsible? responsibility and authority are linked i'm responsible for her because i'm her man and i take the best care of her i might take i might know things she doesn't know she might be 19 years old and think going to the club's all fine i'm 35 i've been around i've seen what happens in clubs no you don't need to go there i'm responsible for you i take care of you and by extension i have authority to say to you you're not going to that nightclub that doesn't make me crazy it doesn't make me insecure it doesn't make me weak she can always say i'm going to go anyway and that's fine and then we can break up but in my scenario, any woman I'm serious about is going to obey me. And I'm not going to come along with some crazy, maybe people will call it crazy. I'm not going to make her do anything wrong. She ain't going to take drugs. She's going to go to the gym. She's going to eat right. She's going to be learning shit. And she ain't going to be in the club sniffing and drinking. Now, if that makes me a bad person, then so be it. No problem. But I get plenty of girls who, who sign up to that all day long without problems. And any man who sits there and goes, I'm not insecure. I'll send my girl to the club. Send okay. her to my... Send her to my table, G. Send her to my table. No <laughs> problem. Send her. Fair enough. Okay. Yo. We'll talk about insecurity when she's sucking dick. Okay. Yo. Then, then, according to your mindset and how you see things, then, and your your high levels of security, apparently, right? If your girl was to go to the club, right, and I was at the club, you're scared that I will bring your girl home. I don't that, live in. That, it's not about scared because I don't live in fear. I'm well, I mean that that's fear. No, it's not fear. What okay. Is it? okay, what is the outcome that you do not want of a, her going to the club? I'll explain. I'm a terrorist. Guys, guys, coming, guys coming over and bringing her home. You, by fear, you are scared of her going home with another guy. That is a move that is literally fueled by fear. You are fearful. That's an interesting viewpoint. And I know you think that that's relevant. And I know you think you've made a good point, but I'm about to dissect it and show you. Go ahead. Right. I'm a territorial individual. And I think that being a man, one of the best things about being a man is being territorial, being able to say that is mine. That's the whole point of it. So let's let's use an analogy. And please, when I make this analogy, I don't want you to try and get caught up in the analogy because I'm about to compare a woman to a car. Do not say you're comparing women to cars. That's low IQ. This is just an analogy. If I go outside, right, or let's say I have a Lamborghini. I have many cars, but let's say I take my Lamborghini. Would I park it in a high crime area? Even if the locks are fantastic, even if my woman is loyal and completely and utterly in love with me, and I know there's 0% chance any man could ever take her home because she's with the top G, which is the case. Even if I know the locks on my car, oh, it has bulletproof glass, it's locked, you can't break into it. Will I park no. my Lambo in an Hell area no. where people are going to try and steal it? That's a no, good I analogy, won't because bro. that is irresponsible. So the fact is, I don't care if men try and come up to my chick because no one can steal my chick because I am me. The fact is, it's irresponsible for me to put her in a scenario where people were attempted. If I walk out to the car park and someone's trying to break into my car, even if the locks to my car are secure, I will still decimate said individual for attempting to steal my property. That's what it's about. It's about territorialism. It's not about being fearful the girl's going to run off with someone else. There's nowhere to go from me but down. It's not about okay. that. Fair it's enough. about the fact that it's irresponsible for me to put her in that scenario. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean the argument. The argument would be good uh, if if I were you. I'm not making that argument. I could I could rationalize the argument you just did. If most of the girls that I dated or that I was with had the IQ of somebody who cannot move, think, or do anything, and is just stuck on the side of the fucking curb. <laughs> so yeah, I guess maybe you go, you would have this experience. If most of you did were zero IQ, brain frozen. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense in the real world because the, you don't park your fucking girl on the curb at the club. They move, they talk, they do shit. So it's not a fucking. It's it's not it's not the danger of other guys doing doing shit, right? Because they can I, still think, and the 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 the, the loss of potent the potential that that one guy out of a million will do some crazy shit and and is going to forcibly bring her home, right? 
is far, that smallest is far outweighed by the fun and enjoyment and the fulfillment that they get by going to the club in the first place. He's That's been... interesting. But you also have to understand because we are different individuals living very different lives. And I'm not going to sit here and comment on your relationships because I don't understand them because I don't know them. But you have yeah. to understand that I am, in, I am at a status of life where any woman who gets with me understands that to be with a man of my caliber, there are certain sacrifices which must be made. You do not get to be with a kickboxing world champion, multi-millionaire, whose entire life is completely on track and live a life of spoiled princess and then also say to that man, I go to the club whenever the fuck I want. You might be able to say that to some other men, but you can't say it to me. So, and I want to say something to you that you may not yet understand once again, because you are intelligent, but you're not yet wise because you are young. Women are malleable. And when I say they're malleable, people think that women are these individualistic, unique creatures. And they're, they are to a degree, but they are heavily mal they're heavily yeah, molded by the man them. they're with. You'll notice if a woman gets with a man and she loves him, she likes the same music he likes. The same Anybody, anybody's in that regard. Everybody's malleable in that regard with the people that they're with, people that are around. The finish. People are, are the fucking result of what's around them. That's just Correct. Correct. So women are malleable. So a woman which may say to you, I'm a unique, special snowflake. I do whatever the fuck I want. If she was in my presence, she wouldn't say that. Now, because women are a reflection of their man. It's not hard to get a woman who sits there and says, you know what? I don't go to the club without my man because I adore my man. If the man is worthy of such adoration. If the woman's sitting there going, well, I'm with him, but it, no, he doesn't tell me what to do. That's the man's problem. It's nothing to do with the woman. Females are all the same. It's all about the man they're with. I have no trouble and no arguments in my life telling women they don't go to the club by themselves. Zero. It's not a conversation that even ever appears ever because I am me. So uh, for you to sit here and describe scenarios, that's fine. And you're saying that my women are low IQ. I would counter that by saying if I was with the same women you were with, they'd behave better for me than they would for you. And that is because of my status and my wisdom and my individuality that you've bro, yet to you but, treat and pay for them like they're Lambos that are parked at the curb. Of course they're going to be like this if you are gonna if you want to go down that argument. So yeah, I, 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 I guess once more, I have to concede the point because you're right. I guess you, you, dated, you dated frozen Lambos parked at the curb. It's not frozen and, Lambos. Saying to a well, woman I mean, that, that is what you com that is what you compare that is your example. You Before, compare the behavior and the bro, potentials he of, of her being stolen cars, to a parked Lambo. Therefore, Correct. I have to use that analogy when talking about the girls that you are dating saying, and you are saying, right. I'm, I, I'm sorry, it's not an insult to that you made this precedence. I have to use it. Yeah. I will take right. any woman I could date. Excuse any woman right. you ever I don't know who your girlfriends are. I don't have a clue. But any woman you've ever right dated, there. if I was with her, she wouldn't be going to the club without me. That's that's the bottom line. And that's because who who I am. The woman the woman's paradigm, the idea that the female is gonna come along and demand to only go club with the girls, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That is heavily dependent on the man she okay. is with. So what makes you above her then? The money, so, the status, the top G? What is the, what is the, the label or the prerequisite that makes you above her? It's not about being above. It's about her. Yes, it is. It's about her respecting me. Therefore, therefore, you can't go to the club either. You don't go to the club then. That's bullshit. I go to the club whenever the fuck I want. Okay. Then when what, make, what makes her unable to go to the club if you can't go to the club if you're equal? I am responsible for her. And I have why, authority. Why, why are you responsible? What, what makes you responsible? I'm responsible for her because I am more competent as an individual. Now, before... How, we, how do you know that? Yeah. All the girls, all the girls. And there's no girl out there that, that, that could be above you. You're above everybody else. Well, let's, let's, because I know you're going to try and go down the sexist argument, let's reverse um, it. Well, I mean, you, you made it. Okay, listen. Uh, I, you have driven this conversation since the beginning. I gave you the, the, not the frame, I gave you the, the initial roots argument or point, and you are driving yourself there. Cool. Uh, and well, so you, you are, you are, you are drawing a circle around it. I didn't do shit. All right. I cool. said, what makes you above her? And you, you're not giving me an answer. It's about, it's not about being above. It's about having responsibility for. Her. So why and can't I, you have responsibility? Okay, because you can't share responsibility because nothing in life is 50-50. There's always, even if it's 49, 49%, 51%. Okay. then why you? Me, because I'm me. This is the exact point. Now, let's reverse it, which I've been trying to do for the last 30 seconds. There are women out there who are with men, and that man needs her to tell him, stop playing video games, stop smoking weed, go to the gym, get your diet in order. Why don't you ever work? Why ain't you got any money? That There are millions of relationships out there. In said scenario, she has responsibility because she's his mother and she tells him what to do, and she has authority. She can tell him not to do shit because she's the fucking boss. That is okay. happens. It's not, about, it's not about a sex thing. It's about okay. human dynamics and every okay. relationship. Someone's in charge, and I'm in charge of my relationships, and I find it irresponsible of me to put her in a scenario where something could happen to her. But you, Whether, carry on. Sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. I, I just think what, what a good point was. I can uh, interject. Since you're since you're making that point, right? The problem with these statements is that you say 
girls. You always say girls or, girl, or, my, or my girls, right? Intending that, that, that it's all of them. What, what about some girl, right? Who, right now, hypothetically, is a, is a multi-trillionaire, right? And is in your kitchen right now. And she comes away right now. The, the door opens behind you. We see a little glint of light right behind you right now. And she says, hey, Tate, get the fuck off the computer. Drinking this bullshit with this stupid cigar. Talking to that fucking double on your computer, right? That, that, that could happen, right? According no. to you. No, it can't happen. Why not? It can't happen. And I'll tell why you not? why. I'll tell you why. Because okay. you said some girl being a multi-trillionaire. There's plenty of women in the world who may have a lot of money. Yeah. But we live, but you have to understand that when you look at life, you have to look at life in the different paradigms. There's many different lenses you look at life through. And when you look at life from a societal perspective, yes, women are equal to men and they should be, fine. But when you look at women from an animalistic perspective, because we are basically animals, they are not equal to us physically. When it comes to something like personal safety, which a club involves a lot of, they can get spiked, a man can try on with them and lose his temper, they can get attacked, the, whatever can happen. When it comes to physical protection, that is a man's realm. You could be a UFC world champion, female, whatever, whatever. I'm too big and I'm too strong. I, I'll, I'll still beat him. So there's no female alive who's going to come into a room and tell me when it comes to things like personal protection, responsibility for her own personal safety, okay. et cetera, and trump my views. That's not yeah. true. I'm Same. a man. I have certain domains in which I rule. Okay. Then in this line of argument with the things that you just said, I'm, not going one, I'm trying to go one by one. So I have to be selective about how I'm doing this. Okay. What you're saying, since you brought up the fact that you can get spiked, is that you, Andrew, if you go at the club alone, because the girl is staying at home, she has to stay home, she's boxed in. You go to the club because you're such a fucking warrior and right. you get spiked heavily in your drink, you drink it, you will Correct. not go unconscious because you're such a fucking lion, aren't you? It's not about that. It's about the fact that if the woman was with me in the club or if the, the woman couldn't protect me, that's not the woman's domain. It's down to me and my team to protect me. The female has absolutely no say when it comes to things like personal safety. She has so, no So she can't have a team around her. She can't. A, a team of chicks? A team okay. of chicks? Of anybody. You to send your girl to the club. What? Did I say chicks? Did I say chicks? Oh, a team of dudes. Cool. You want to send your girl to the club with a bunch of dudes? Cool. Your prerogative. Enjoy. <laughs> Hope right. you have a nice, long relationship. Yo. Well, I mean, okay. Well, I mean, my relationship will be long and fulfilling. I can't. I can't say the same to when you when you treat people like this. I mean, treat that people means... like saying that you don't go to the club without me. We'll go together. Oh, I'm the worst man in the world. Oh, no, don't take your girl to the VIP table with you. Oh, don't do that, Andrew, you misogynist. Send her out there with all those other dudes. I'll tell you what, bro. 87 professional fights, four-time kickboxing world champion. How about this? I'll protect your chick. Send her to the club with me. Bro, bro, <laughs> you can be the, the the biggest lion out there. You can be the most Chad-like bald guy out there, okay? If your drink gets spiked, you're you're dropping. That's not, that's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is about, it's about the respect that she will have for me for protecting her and, and my responsibility over her and the authority that comes with it. It'll be about the fact that I don't want my woman in the club without me. I think it's disrespectful. And I don't think that any woman who truly loves a man even wants to do that. Women, women test boundaries as they should. And I'm about to yeah. make another comparison. I'm about to make another comparison that Go you ahead. can use. Yeah, yeah. Use my analogies against me. You said well, I, have, I, well, I have, I have, I, I have not, I have no other, uh, other material. You said, cool. you said attack. You said, you said approach me by going one to one and going with specifics. What else is there than the things that you're feeding me that I can use? Am I supposed to speak in fucking in hero or some some, some shit? Cool. What am I supposed to do? I have to. Completely. So I compared women to cars. So that makes me a bad man. I'm about to compare women to children. Oh no, I'm a really bad man. So this is, let's do the same thing, right? So when, a, when, a, when you have a child, let's say you have a six or seven year old kid, they push the boundaries. They try and see what they can get away with until eventually you come and say, no, you're not allowed to do that anymore. If you yes. leave a child completely unchecked, they're going to do a bunch of crazy shit, right? There has to be a point they come up against the wall where the parents say, no, I'm older than you. I'm more responsible than you. I'm wiser than you. I know things you don't know. Do not stick your fingers in the plug socket. That's part of being an adult. It's part of being a parent. It's okay. the same thing as being a man for a woman. If you're, with a, if you're a man with a woman, you're likely older, a lot older, so you're wiser by default. You're probably, if you're a successful man, more successful than her. You've seen a lot of things. You've probably seen more violence than she has, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're very, very qualified to come why, along and say- Why do you intend that you're probably more successful than she is? Because you're, you're likely older. I mean, I don't know. There's not many 18-year-old girls who are going to be more successful than a 35-year-old man, maybe. But why, even- 18? Why are dating somebody a little younger? Okay, twenty-five year old doesn't matter. Men date men date younger women on average because young women like older men on average, That's and they true. like that because that they respect true. older men because they respect the authority. I, so I, don't, I don't think any of the things I'm saying here are, are largely contested. I think everyone agrees that women like. I mean, men, right? not 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 only are they largely contested, they they are they are mostly contested. I think I think most people disagree with you on this. I mean, uh, most rational beings, except for the people that are completely delusional or off the tracks, unhinged. The, the problem that you think you think is that you're, you're saying that. Men, it's impossible for them to be pushed into the right directions or help like a children from women. 
They, the, the girls can't come in and say, stop doing this, they, stop doing stop doing that. They, they, they can't do that to you or any other guys because they're women. Which, what the fuck is that? That's just, that's just, that's just so illogical. Some, some men need women to guide them. That's fine. I'm not one of those men. Also, oh, now some. Earlier it was all, now it's some. We're going down the list now. We're trying to choke. What's up? It was overall. I, was, I gave a scenario in which many men are mothered by their girlfriends. And I said, in said scenario, the woman has authority and responsibility and she can prevent him from going to the club. And then I also said, in every single relationship, somebody has responsibility and authority. Nothing is 50-50. And then I also said, for the same reason, I would not allow someone to break into my car, no matter how good the locks are, I will not put my woman in a scenario where people are going to try and take her from me because I find it disrespectful. and She shouldn't want to be there. That's what I said. That's all the things I said. Now, if you have a relationship in which you want your girl to go out to the club as much as she wants, that's your prerogative. I'm not coming here telling you not to do it. I will tell you it's going to end badly for you. You may disagree with me, but it will. If you keep letting your girl to go to the club, it's going to end badly. Not just because she's going to get stolen, but because she's not going to respect you as a man. She's going to say, this man lets me go out and get drunk with other men every fucking night. What kind of dude do I have? That is your definition of what the respect that she owes you is. Not the definition of what the, the relationships overall. Uh, that's how that transaction goes like. I, I, I think it, this is... I mean, you're, you're being obtuse. The problem with this is that you're being obtuse about it, right? Relationship, you have to be, why, okay, why are you in a relationship in the first place? Why, why are you with a girl, right? Because you want to, because you, you want to be fulfilled. You want to have a relationship and you want to feel like you're, 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 you're in something, right? You're committed. Why, why do you date? Tell, tell us, why do you date? Absolutely. For the same reason everybody dates. For, for okay. For, for so a lot, of, a, sure. a, a lot of points, like a polygon, a lot of things make you fulfilled, like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. It right. makes it a nice polygon, right? Correct. Right? So in my opinion, this is how this is what the foundation of what a relationship is. For me to be fully fulfilled, I want the person I'm with, my partner, to that one of the prerequisite is that they're fulfilled in all these ways. It needs, it needs to match for me to match. It's almost like a uh, if she's fulfilled, I'm fulfilled, and we are together like that, right? Yep. And what you're saying, what you're saying is that what fulfills a person, they have to sacrifice and lose out on some of these points for you to feel fulfilled. How does it make any sense whatsoever? It, it, that is completely and utterly illogical because they, they have to make compromises and sacrifices that overall will lack fulfillment and will make you, you feel less fulfilled. And you will end up with a raw loss overall in this exchange. So I'm gonna let y'all finish this conversation, but I got—I just want to say I got a dip, uh, got a got a flight to catch. I'm gonna appreciate you. Later, brother. Peace, peace. See you, man. Take it, man. Right, peace. Appreciate you. You understand it? You're like, arguing. I understand your argument. Your argument is that if the woman has to make compromises to be with me, she's not fully, completely fulfilled, which will stop me being completely fulfilled. Yeah, this, okay. I like that you're listening a lot. I like that. Thank you. But you make compromises to be with her. You don't fuck uh, other women. You do that. That, that is not a okay. 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 When you talk about the framework of a good, stable, committed relationship, okay, fucking other girls is not a compromise. It's pre-intended. Not, going, going to the club with a bunch of dudes is pre-intended. It's all about the parameters you set. If you're going to sit here and say that I don't want her to have to change a single thing about her life the, because of the not, difference, then you, then you shouldn't have to change anything okay. about your life. I'm agreed. Agreed, Andrew. That would be the perspective as if I feel like I'm losing something by her going to the club. As if I don't. Why? Because she doesn't get anything out of going to the club in those ways that takes away from my relationships because I'm number one. You can't replace me. They see me They see me as the perfect fit. They love me, right? Let, so let they me, don't, I don't lose anything by them going to see number twos and threes and fifty and one hundreds. They have the best at home. I don't lose shit. You intend that when your girls go to the club, you're scared that they're gonna lose something. They, the other people around at the club are better than you. Cause you and you, you're not number, you're not number one in their heart. You're number three. And they might get number two over there or number one. And you're scared of that. Why are you scared of that? I don't get that. It makes no sense at all. We've already discussed the fear argument. We've already discussed about the fact that no matter how good the locks are, I wouldn't put it in a high crime area. We've already discussed this. I understand you're trying to use the fact that uh, trying to paint me as insecure and fear. No. Show. That's incorrect. I, like I said, you, you, you're not going to answer me. I want you to dissect my argument. Sorry to cut you off. You're good at letting me cut you off. Okay. I want you to dissect what I said, right? At the beginning or in the, or in the middle. And I want you to just can't argue it. You, what I'm saying is that in I don't make a sacrifice in, in that relationship by, oh, I want to fuck other girls. Bro, I want to fuck that one girl. I don't lose out on like other girls. That I don't want these girls. I want that one. She's my number one. I'm number one. I don't lose out and make a compromise that, oh no, I can't fuck other girls that I like less and love less. Otherwise, I would date these girls or that girl. So I'm not losing on that potential. The same way she doesn't lose, lose on your. Does that make sense? It's logical. Not really. But 
if you if let me blow your mind let me let's change let's change the the quick trajectory let me blow your mind if your woman was truly fulfilled by you and she truly loved you she wouldn't give a fuck about club it's she true. wouldn't even want to go oh god that's, that's true. the truth i don't have to argue with my women about going to the nah, club that is okay. so true bro then, then she's not allowed to go to the bowling alley then or they will come to me people go they'll to come to me to and mingle. say can i go to the club with all my friends and say not without me she'll say okay baby and that's it. it it's really not an argument it's not hard because she's fulfilled in other ways now if she didn't respect me and she wasn't fulfilled in other ways and of course she'd argue then that club would become important but to her then, then can she okay i understand then can she go to laser tag sure she can go laser tag i don't give a fuck it's no problem but oh, it's not about that. it's about the what, scenario what, what if she sees an absolute lion chad Way more than at the club, some Good. big, tough, muscular guy that looks better than you and, and, and is more into like, then what? Good, then fine. Then I, you just... then you park your Lambo at the I, I, in the hood and your Lambo, it's getting taken. You, then, now you say good? So the club, what? the club is parked there. Incorrect. Laser tag parking is good. How? Incorrect. Because laser tag does not have, laser tag is not invented for people to fuck. The only reason clubs even exist. For, to fuck, yes. The only reason clubs even exist. And I'll tell you why. The basic mechanics of clubs. I know a little bit about it because I own a couple. The basic mechanics of clubs is that you fill them with girls. Girls have no money. Men come, spend ridiculous amounts of money on alcohol, which is massively overpriced to try and attract females. Yes. If, you get a, if you get a club with no females in it, no men even go. The whole point of a nightclub yeah. is to fuck. So I will not send <laughs> my woman who is with me to the fucking ground. She okay. Can go to, okay. She can go Walmart, but she ain't gonna go to a place which is specifically designed and it's set up to for her to get intoxicated and famoosed. And not because I think she will get famoosed, because uh -huh. she is too respectful for me, too respectful of me to go to a scenario in which she would be seen. Even listen, bro, you may disagree with me. I'll tell you something. Well, I, I, I'm, 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 like I said, your argument falls on its face because I mean, my 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 woman, my woman, my mine. I, I she obeys me, right? Uh, she has friends and feels fulfilled at doing social activities, and her friends all want to go to the club. It's it's, it's some girl's birthday. And yes, she, she's single. That one is vulnerable. It's a vulnerable prey. Okay, that girl. Okay, but, but but they're all going to the club together, right? My girl can't tag along. No, she can't. She cannot partake. She cannot partake in social activities that make her feel fulfilled socially. She can't. She can't because that club is designed for people to fuck, right? So 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 she can't go in there or close to it, right, dude. So many more places are designed to fuck, and more people get fuck out of them. So, what is, how does that make sense? It's your prerogative what you want to do inside of your own relationship. I'm only explaining. It's not a prerogative. I want you to explain that. Sure, I will explain again. No problem. If firstly you gave, now you just gave a very particular scenario. So right no, now you're that's now important you, because if you say all, then, then it has to be all the specifics. Hey, my girl. All means. When I say my girl doesn't go clubbing, I mean she doesn't go clubbing, right? I mean she does not go out all the weekend. She ain't partying anytime she wants. She doesn't go clubbing. Let's imagine there's a particular birthday for a girl, and this girl is a girl I know, and I think she's a pretty good influence, and she's not a bad girl, and they all want to go to the club, and I drop her off, and I pick her up. Then that's that's maybe that that is a scenario in which it possibly could happen. Once then, a what, year. then why do you say all? Then if you agree but, on a scenario, then why do you say all? You, see, this is something that you always do that when you're you're vocal about your your mindset. That irritates me a little bit, right? Not 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 personally, but just overall hearing that is that when you say alls, right, and you're very very hard about that when you're alone on camera. Right, and you don't you don't get interviewed or can't argue. It's not it's, it's a monologue, not a dialogue. You say because, all, all. I'm not such a lion, all. But when you come no, here and, I, I, and we talk about it, you say but this scenario, but that, one, but this yeah, one, but that are, one. How does that make sense, bro? Because there are scenarios. Obviously, there are scenarios. Exceptions don't disprove rules. When I say my woman doesn't go clubbing, I mean she does not on the weekends be out clubbing. She does not message me. I'm at the club tonight. See you tomorrow. She does not do that. You're giving me a very particular set of scenarios. Maybe once if her friend had a birthday, da da da. Maybe, yeah, perhaps. What we're talking about is different things. And I'm telling you why you're trying to disprove me using exceptions in very, very unique scenarios. I'm sitting here saying people are born with two eyes. And you're saying, no, some people are born with one eye. Yeah, that's true. But in general, when you say someone, how many eyes does someone have? You say two. Now, if someone asks me how many eyes does someone have, and I say two, and you were to run along and go, I know someone with one eye. That does not make me fucking wrong. So you're just trying to use exceptions to disprove rules, and it doesn't work that way. Damn, any, he's good, Any woman bro. who's with me, by and law, by in general, if you were to ask her, does she go clubbing? The answer would be no. I'm Andrew's girl. I don't go to clubs without Andrew. Now, are there very particular scenarios in which perhaps if a movie premiere and she's A-list and she has to go to a club for 15 minutes with security and I pick her up? Da, da. Yeah, sure. That's not the point we're fucking making. Any woman who's with me doesn't go to the club. And the most important point of all of this is she doesn't want to. I don't have to stop her. Okay. Go. I, I'm, a, I, I'm not, this is an understatement, but understatement, literally. 
You can literally win bike races backwards with how fucking hard you're backpedaling. It's insane the way that you revert your main arguments and go down them and start disintegrating them. The way you do, it's, it, I've never seen that before, man. I, I don't know how you can even justify this. You, see, you say never go clubbing and then there's exceptions. There, there are exceptions that actually happen most, did, did most of the time. Trash, ask about that best friend. That, that we went out clubbing, it was for a reason. It had, it had a reason behind it. Add something behind it, right? That wasn't. I'm gonna go out to see some to see some other po options and start fucking, right? There's so yeah. many ways and 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 uh, this reasons. Com this why this well, almost going over, to the club, think, bro. Like it's a social gathering. There's a lot of people. Sure, it's, well, it's fun. It's energetic. And it's story. Sure. Well, if I had to make a binary decision, if I were to come along and say that no exceptions are, are, are all are allowed, either she's allowed to go to the club whenever she wants and go to all those birthdays or never go to the club and miss all those birthdays and she would never go to the club and she would never go to a single fucking birthday and she would not complain. My woman do not want to go to the club without me. This is being discussed as if I have to stop them. It's just these are the parameters for being with me. You don't go to the club without me. Got it. Cool. Cool. Done. It's not a big deal. All right, yo, X and uh, Tate, listen, can we get to this next topic, the, 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 the oh, having a girl, having a guy best friend? Um, I mean, that, that's, that, that's, that, that one's, I mean, if you, if you disagree with, with, with the girl having visual or, or aura contact with other male beings that are in the vicinity, clearly she cannot have a best friend. I mean, a friend, an acquaintance, bitch, mother, a sight of fucking real life men pixel is a fucking breach to Tate's fucking insecurities. I don't know. I, I don't think... I'm not insecure what? territorial. That is insecurity. It, by definition, not allowing the girl to be around the sight of other men is insecurity. I think, meant, I, think meant, I, think, I think you meant in a club scenery, but I'm just going to ask, Andrew, it, can a girl, can your girlfriend have a, a, a guy best friend? No. No, I don't agree either. No, <laughs> Holy fuck. So you, you don't think that you're, you're, so do we agree on this, that your woman should not have a male best friend? Well, a best friend means... For me, a best friend is somebody you spend most of your time with. If I'm with somebody, I'm spending most of my time with them, right? Otherwise, there's a lack somewhere that they're making up by doing other shit. Having friends is cool, right? They're going to spend most of their time with somebody else because they're lacking some sort of social contact. That, that's a problem in itself. That is lack of fulfillment on one end, which translates to lack of fulfillment on both ends. That's a problem. Yeah, I don't think a woman should. I don't think I think that. Well, first, you have to understand the paradigm. Do you think men and women can even be friends? Ooh, yeah, that's um, what we talked earlier. That that is like super case by case. I think that's super hard. I agree with it's that. It's like really that. case by case. It depends. It depends. It just depends. On, see, it always depends of, of the nature of that of that relationship in, in, uh, in the first place. I think I think they they can be friend if things are clear from the get go. And you just kind of know, right? But you have to be very very rational about it, though. Do you He's think right. that in ninety nine percent of scenarios, when man's friends with a chick, he'd like to sleep with her if he could? Okay. So, yeah. See. See. Uh, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be the all or most against uh it's gonna be like the all against most take or all against whatever fucking take you know we're gonna go down again like last time whatever 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 let's say let's say uh fucking i can use a close example okay uh this, uh this girl does projects for for twitch events or fucking stream events uh, his name is cutie okay just an example okay i started a bunch of events uh, we work on projects together i guess right i never fuck her yeah that's right? acquaintance that's Not, work that, we're talking about friendship well i mean she's still a friend though She's an acquaintance. She's someone you work with, someone you know. I wouldn't call him a friend. So, okay, it's not mutually exclusive. It's, 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 well, like, yeah, it's hard to draw the line. But my point is that I, I don't think that when a woman and a man are purely just friends without, let's say, a financial... Yo, shout other debate topics, y'all. Yeah. just friends. I don't think that's a platonic relationship. I think the man is interested in her most of the time. And when people disagree with me that, I say, then why do all the hot girls have so many friends and all the ugly girls don't have any? The men are trying to get laid. And for her to sit there and entertain it and pretend that that's not the case. Oh, no, he's just my friend. She knows what's going on. It's bullshit. X, I have and a question. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Someone well, asked. Me, because you can reverse X, that. X, what? somebody had asked uh, X, if uh, would, would you be okay if uh, your girlfriend was best friends with Andrew Tate? Well, I, I don't want any of my friends being friends with Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is a fucking moron. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, no. Um, we uh, can, you know. I, Best you're, a friend. you're a famous Twitcher, bro. We could we could do a really we could get a lot of pay per views on a boxing match anytime. Bro, 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 bro. Have you seen these sticks I got? Uh, these are literally fucking. These are sticks. I can't I can't fight with that. <laughs> bro, I did I did one tap. I don't I don't I'm still not scared of saying that. It's like I, I don't know. It's like something it's not, it's not, it's not even comparable. It's like if I said best biggest fucking UFC fighter, Colossus fucking seven foot Andy. I mean he's gonna clap you too. It's all a matter of scale.
Of course. Well, this uh, this is my point. The point is that I don't think that most male female friendships are truly and utterly completely platonic. I think if any woman's honest, she'll admit that too. And for the same reason I discussed earlier, while I wouldn't let someone attempt to break into my Lambo, I would not let some man come along under the shield, under the guise of friend. I'm not going to let some dude come along, put on a friend hat, and try it on with my chick permanently. That's bullshit. And she shouldn't want that either. She should say, this guy obviously wants more. I'm not talking to him. Or I'll talk to him only at work for X event. That's it. And, 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 and I know these views for some reason. I don't know why these views are extreme. Because these are really not. The, these are not. The rest of them are kind of extreme. They are. They are legitimate. That one is not too extreme because, um, yeah, a lot of people have these intentions that are that are preemptive, and when they see somebody that's like attractive or whatever, yeah, they'll be friends and trying to try to snake their way in or whatever. But would I your, would, would your mother hang around with some dude behind your father's back and say he's her friend? Would your mother say that again? Would your mother hang around with some dude behind your father's back and say he's just my friend? Would your Would your father tolerate that? Uh, they're not together, they're divorced. Okay. But I'm talking about a different generation, right? Let's imagine people who married 40, 50 years ago. Would they, would, was it normal? Was it normal then for dudes, for chicks to be hanging around with a bunch of dudes and saying he's just my friend only 30, 40 years ago? Or is this all new thing? A friend, it depends on what kind of activities you do. I mean, dude. Nah, bro, he's it, right. It, it, not, you can have friends honest. doing a bunch, bunch of shit. Like they can go fucking, maybe they like playing golf together. Maybe they like. It's new think, my friend. And what you must understand is that the things I'm talking about are, were perfectly normal and completely and utterly accepted. Oh, you're one of well, these guys. Okay, it's okay. Not these guys. It's about accepting that society has changed and that new think is untested. And when you look at untested think, because that's what it is, it's untested by the definition of being new in and of itself, it's untested. Yo, how long is he going to get a massage for, bro? We had relationships for a very, very long time, thousands of years, where when a woman was with a man, she only spoke to that man. In most of the world today, still that is the case. You may live in America, but if you go to Africa or any of the Middle East or Asia or even Europe, Eastern Europe, Russia, any of these you. places, if you think these chicks are, have male friends, then you don't understand the world very well. Take it a piss. America, One sec. Keep going. Okay, Keep I'm going I'm, I'm to I'm I'm reverse and say, in the age of a Mesopotamia or some shit, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, girls had, had, had friends and shit and then stuff with other guys. Yeah, th things change. It doesn't devalidate them as untested. A lot of things were untested previously, like uh, how does that prove anything? Like, what is that new equals bad thing? Like, well, I don't know what that is. New, new doesn't equal bad. New equals untested, which means you don't know. Nobody knows how this new societal paradigm is going to play out. I can only talk from my personal experience. And my personal experience is that when a woman has a bunch of male friends and a boyfriend, the relationship doesn't last very long. That's my personal experience. I, I've seen it happen a thousand times. Yeah. I, I mean, if, that, if, if you date some girls unfulfilled of you so much that she's willing to give other guys a chance and keep an open mind about who they're going to date and who they're with, that they're going to do that with, with people that they meet randomly. But if, she's, but if she's fulfilled, she wouldn't have male friends. You're pretending that a girl can be fulfilled. That's not true. That's not true. What, yes, it is. what if, what if Bro, she already you're... had a friend before before you? Like oh, understood. years, years ago. Understood. I, I've been with women and they've had a friend for a very long time. But... I make it very clear to him, look, he clearly likes you. And if she's honest, she's like, yeah, I know. I keep my arm's length. And she's very honest and open with me about it. Oh, he just texts me trying to get me to go out. I'm not going to reply to him. And she'll, she'll distance herself on purpose. And she'll make it very, very clear that she's in love with me. And she'll keep him where he belongs. Very, 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 very firmly in the friend zone with no hope. Because that's oh. her job to do. I don't have to tell her to do that. Now, if I have to come along to a chick and say, you're giving this guy too much hope. Stop texting him. Blah, blah, blah. If I have to do that, then she doesn't respect me and I'm not going to be in that relationship. I'm not going to sit there and police her phone. She'll yeah. self herself. Hey. She'll self-police out of respect for me. If she's not yeah, doing yeah, it, she's not self-policing, then she God doesn't here. respect me very much. And I need to understand the chessboard. I need to look at the board and say, okay, I'm not very well respected in this relationship. She thinks talking to these dudes is more important than keeping me happy. It's only a matter of time until we break up. Okay, we, okay, okay. I, I, I agree with this, but the, the problem is that you're lumping in, you're lumping two things that are, that are very, 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 very different. Okay, relationship needs and social needs. That what, they're not... They're, they're separate uh, experiences. You, you saying and fearing the, the social overall aspect of, of, of your girlfriend, saying that, she, that she's mixing that with, 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 the, with your personal relationship love, right, is a problem itself. That is, that is a problem that, that you cannot, that you can't see. That's because social needs, that is to talk to other beings hear new ideas, have different intellectual conversations with other beings than you. Bro, you, 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 you can't entertain all of her fucking uh, intellectual, whatever the fuck. Bro, they, they have to go out there and, 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 and talk and have fun 
conversation where they aren't having sex and having a love with somebody else. Like, what? I'd appreciate if you'd stop using the word fear because I'm not fearful. So you can stop using that word, firstly. Secondly. Well, I can't, it's hard because when you don't want something to do something, it's, it's out of fear. That, that's how it is. You think? Yeah, by default it is, but you are fearful of something happening, yes. It's not about being fearful. It's just about having my boundaries as an individual and, and having- Boundaries of what? Boundaries that, what will happen? Boundaries of what? What is the thing that you're shielding? You said boundary from what? Boundary yes. and shield from what? From something. Let me, Bro, let me you, don't wear, you don't wear a fucking bulletproof vest being scared of the fucking wind. You wear bulletproof vest against guns and bullets, bitch. Sorry, let me, I, let, I, take, I take the bitch back. I cannot pull that stuff in. I, I don't mind, that's fine. I'll, I'll answer your first original question about them being social. <laughs> Women often, if they're with a man and they love that man, their social circle ends up involving or being built around that man. His friends become their friends. The girlfriends of the other, other guys that he's friends with becomes their friends. I'm not saying they're not going to have any friends and nobody outside of me. But anybody who is completely and utterly unrelated to me is to a degree an enemy combatant. You, you need to understand, my friend, that life as a man is ultra competitive and it is war. We are all competing with each other. If Everybody's you, at war. Okay. The, the whole thing is war. Girls Every at war. Guys, everybody is at fucking war. Yes, life is a battlefield, and sometimes you gotta make choices and shit like that, and that's how you climb, motherfucker. You have to okay. you have to take some down. It is what it is. It's a war, yeah. All right. But I would I would argue that women to a degree, call me misogynist, are a spoil of war. If you're a man and you've been to war and you've been through enough shit, you get women along with money, along with status, along with respect. Women are a spoil of war. They always have been. Look at the ancient times. They turn up, take the city, take the women. It's, women are a spoil of war. So all men are competing with each other for all the things men want. All of you Twitchers are competing with each other for views. I'm competing with people to make as much money as possible. If you're going to go try and get a chick, you're not the only person trying to get her. You are competing with people who are trying to get her too. And my point is this. If I win said war and a female becomes mine, I'm not going to let an enemy combatant put on a friend hat and use that as a shield and a bullshit excuse to sit there and attempt to silently chip away at my relationship. Every single time she's unhappy with me or we have an argument and he's in her fucking phone saying, well, you could do better than him. Da -da. Anyone who thinks that that makes you secure to allow your chick to just be poisoned okay. is about security. That's so, just mm. responsibility. She is yours. She loves you. She adores you. Her social circle should include you and revolve around you. Anyone who comes along and has nothing to do with me but still wants something to do with my chick is unacceptable. Okay, okay. This is, I understand. And so it's a spoil of war because you did something, right? Like, I want to fire back at you and say that whether you, you're in a relationship, it has to be because you are something. Not because you did something and you got something, because you are something. That's how you mm -hmm. reach fulfillment in a relationship. You're with somebody who's with you because of you and you're then because of they are, they are them. What happens when you are, since you're using the battle the war thing, right? You're fucking... You're, you're Achilles, the great fighter with a sword, right? And you smoke this big ass giant and you get the spoil, you get, you get, you get, in your words, you get the bitch. Now she comes to your tent and she gets to ride on the fucking stick. Yeah, 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 the spoils of war, right? Yeah, bro, yeah. Right, right, right. And then you have, you build this relationship on the fact that you're such a successful fighter. Then the next day, something comes along, you go in the stairs and you fucking break your leg. Then it's all over, right? It's all over. Bro. You go back to your tent. It's crickets. She's fucking gone because you can't fucking jump and sword that guy anymore. You can't do the leap that Boy. Achilles did because you can't fight anymore. Therefore, it's gone, right? So what's the point? That, so you're saying that, that, that that's how it works because she's not with you for you. She's with you because of some achievement, some some tangible event that you did, some some height that you got, and she, you shouldn't be worthy or you shouldn't be fulfilled of anything else but that one event. Well, I have two answers for that. Firstly, you said she shouldn't be with you for something. She should be with you because you are something. Well, how do you become something? You well, become that's, something. That's what you, you become, wait. become something by doing things. So you, you're trying to separate the two as if they're separate. They're it, not you, se separate. Separate. They're, they're not. You is a lot of things. Your, your achievements is a small thing. Being not, not, successful not, isn't. Hold on, not in the realm of a man. In the realm of a man, oh. your achievements are 85% of all of who you are. As a man, you are judged solely on your status. You don't even have to be good looking. You need to be important. And you're only going to be important by achieving important things. As a man, you are only an you're only judged on your importance and your status. And also another point I want to make, you made it sound like if I lose that next battle, she's going to run away. Well, no, not completely. But I'll counter that by not saying completely. 
No, no, but I'll, I will because, answer. I mean, now she's a taxi you because you're a failure. She's a taxi on whatever you do because now you're not as good as you were before. So she's losing that part of success that you had. She's not, now she should tax you too much. Yeah, you, she should you, say, Andrew, you, give me 10 bucks a day, bro. So you have to you, you have to go like a wagey to the market and sell peaches, right? Because you don't fulfill her now anymore. She lost something, bro. Get taxed, pussy. Do you think that women don't leave their man or initiate divorce when that man loses his job or can no longer financially provide? You think arguments don't Bitch happen? Bitch-ass, unstable ones do from people who can't sell their women properly. When you do not, when she does not respect you, she will leave you. And respect is a multifaceted, it's a large and complex issue. But if you cannot provide as a man, if you are not competent, she will lose respect for you and eventually she will leave. For you to sit here to say that you can lose endless battles and your girl will stay with you anyway All right, is Chad, dream world fallacy. I'm fallacy. not even talking. Give me a new topic. Fallacy. Fucking warrior. I go through the back downs and, forth. and the ups. And I would assume the person that, that, that is with me knows I can lose a thousand battles. At the end, I will win the war some fucking hell. They know that because I built character and I built who I am as a person. And that, per that person is with, with me knows this and doesn't need some some event or some win at least one battle out of ten so for me to stay secure they don't need that because they know who i am they of don't course. need little, little, little battles they know the war is won because she's with the fucking winner that's okay what's it that's okay. how it works All right well if she's gonna see you as a winner even though you've lost a battle which is fantastic and that's how a woman should view her man then she's only gonna see you as a winner because she's seen you win a bunch of battles before any woman who's only ever seen you lose is not going to stand there and say he's a winner, is she? Um, no. Yeah, that. No. Yeah, I guess well, that's a fair point. Yeah. No, my point is, my point is this: as a man, you are judged by females and by society at large on your competence, and your competence, by extension, means your ability to win in all scenarios. The more competent you are as a man, the higher status you are as a man. We don't just have to talk about money, right? My woman can come to me and say, "There's a man outside with a knife." And I will go and deal with said situation. She can come to me and say, I need a million dollars. I can deal with said situation. She can come to me and say, I don't know the answer to this. I can deal with it. She can come to me and say, I need a second passport. I have to disappear. I need a second name. I can deal with it. I am competent in all realms. The more competent I am, <laughs> the more she respects me. By extension, the more responsibility and authority I have over her and the less likely she has wanted to go to a club and shake her ass around. If I can't fix all of her problems, I have less authority. That's normal. I don't think, if I was a beautiful woman, I wouldn't be with a man who's not top fucking level. Why would I be? Because I have innate value. So to sit here and say that women don't give a fuck if you win or lose and that all of that is not true because it's too competitive. It's too competitive. There are too many men out here who want the hot chicks. A hot woman can have anyone she wants. She ain't going to choose the dude okay. who fucking is. With, with this definition then, you, you, are, you are admitting that any girl that dates you, right? And you go that dates you is only with you uh, until she until she sees some guy who's who's more successful and has won more battles than you. Therefore, you shouldn't you shouldn't be with anybody, right? Because of who you are, right? No. Every no. every girl is always looking up at something better. The grass is always greener. There's there's you're just some pawn then, right? No. Because the, no. as soon as you go to the yacht and some guy pulls up randomly that looks has like oh, has more money no, 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 or has no. more followers or more whatever. <laughs> nah. She's gone. Where's he? That guy no. has more so, yes, that, that's what you said. I mean, it's your argument. Uh -huh. The guy has won more battles and is more stable. Why shouldn't she go to that guy? After, after I'm the I'm saying done, that man to be a threat. Obviously, she's going to have an emotional attachment to you because you're going to have an established relationship. Hold on, Jack. Hold on, Jack. You're scared she's going to leave then. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of anything. You are, yeah, that, that is what... I, I have something you don't. <laughs> I have something I that nobody else has. It. Nobody. Not even cool. you, him, the president. I'm cool. myself. That's well, all that, I fucking needed. Cool. Well, then I, I, I would put it this way. I would expect any man listening to this stream to see me as a threat because if you don't see me as a threat, then you are literally stupid. If you see your girl talking to me, I expect you to be like, fuck, he ticks too many boxes, he's too competent, and he's too good at certain things. I don't need him near my woman. Now, she ain't going to run away straight away, no. But if I keep talking to her and you and her have a little bit of an argument, she's going to end up doing something that she might, she might even regret it, but she's going to end up doing it. That is the nature of humanity. Now, to sit here and say that I, because I'm me, I'm so secure, I'm not threatened by nobody, da 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 da. That's not true. That's not that's not an intelligent way to approach things. I'm a world champion fighter, right? If I see a man in my garden late at night, he may not be able to fight like me. I still don't want him near my house. Who the fuck are you, right? That's still a threat. It's still somebody who wants what I have. So it's not even it's not even as black and white as you're trying to make it. The point, another point you're trying to make, I think I don't I think but, you're trying but, to. But, Okay, but he's not even competing. It, you, you already won. It's, 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 I mean, there's no competition. 
one. You no, are the, yourself. You've shown that. So why do they need anything else? The competition. Go on. Well, well, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's not. It's not. It's not competition. I mean, why? Why would you? There's no competition. You have what nobody else has. How is that? How is that? How is it anybody competing with that? Well, we're all different, right? There's, there, I, I have things that nobody else has in some realms, but you guys have things I don't have, right? If there's a chick who's, a, who's in love with Twitch, you're all more important than me. That's fine. But it's not about that. It's, it's, it's not even about that. The point I'm trying to make is, I think you were trying to say earlier that a girl's only with me because I have certain things, because I have X, Y, Z, et cetera. Well, and well, I, that's, that's not her fault. It's your fault, because that's how you set it up to be. Well, I agree. I you agree. are creating your own demons by, that, by, that, by the division. It's not a demon. I agree that women are only with me Shallow females are only with me because I'm big, tall, strong, rich, interesting, compendious, because I have char 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 charisma, because I can fix their problems, because I have a good, a well-connected network, because I'm important and respected and high status. I agree women are only with me for all those things. That does not mean that their love is not true. You think that a woman who's only with a guy because he's big, tall, strong, handsome, and rich doesn't love that man? <laughs> You're only with her for her titties and you love her? So what the fuck are you talking about? You're trying to pretend they're separate. They're the same fucking thing. <laughs> bro, bro, listen. You're talking to the big titty guy. I fucking love titties, okay? There's nothing... I, I, I don't give a fuck because I'm a child of that. I fucking love titties. And I don't even agree with that, okay? I love titties more than anybody else. And and just huh? titties, it's just not, not good enough. What it's the just fuck? Not. That was, I, was, I, was make, I was making a point humorously, so I'll make the point now professionally. If you're only with a woman because she is loyal, kind, soft, adoring, and beautiful, and she makes you feel happy, are you shallow? Oh, I said it again? That was, that, that was a lot. She's loyal. She's adoring. She's funny. She's gorgeous. She makes you feel happy. She, your friends love her. She lives in your house. She cooks. She cleans. You feel good when you're around her. Are you shallow to be with that woman? No. Why would I be shallow? Oh, so if a woman's only with you, or me, or anyone else, because she looks up to you and sees you as strong, rich, competent, interesting. You can protect her. She will, likes to be guided by you. She likes talking to you. Is she shallow to be with you because you're purely high status? Um, no. So no, the, well, the point it's I'm making is that, okay, okay, like, you're, okay yeah, I agree with you. No, that's just one of the reasons she loves me. Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's all about proportions, okay? Think about think about it. Like I said earlier, the poly, the motherfucking polygon. Okay, Shit. is it a polygon? It's I'm like, like really a, it's like tired, a, it kind of, it fills on, on certain sides because certain strengths. Okay, what I'm saying is that you can you can have a little bit of everything, in, right? A little, a little bit of everything. In. But if the reason why she's there is mostly the things that are fucking uh, tangible, right? Like like money or whatever. If most of it is that it's the money and the status or whatever, that's a fucking problem. Sure, you, you, want, you want to be a nice no, balance. Like, I'm zoning out. Right. I'm too tired. Of everything. Lock in, so it feels fulfilling in all ways and good and and feels good. It's Agreed. a good thing. All of it. Agreed. So so if it, if, if it goes with you because of three percent, uh, whatever three percent intellect, five percent whatever, and then forty percent money and three percent looks. What, what happens? What happens if um your investment all fall flat and you get old? And, and then, you, then, then you, that woman out the window. Agreed. You get. Because Agreed. most reason why she likes you, most reason is these tangible dog shit, and then boom, Agreed. it's gone. Agreed. I and never then said. What? And then what? And then what? What do you do then? Then you're gonna find another bitch. What did, I never said that wasn't the case. <laughs> uh, what do you want me to say? I never said that wasn't the case at all. I'm saying that women are attracted to tangible things. It's a tangible world. I said this earlier. Now it, I, I've never been with a woman who only loves me for money. I'm not a sugar daddy. I'm not like that as a person. I have a lot of money, but my women who are with me, they don't get like presents and cars, none of that shit. Like they can live in the house and I'll take them out for dinner, but they, they could get with a man with less money than me and get a lot more money out of said man. So I understand the point you're making. Yeah, if a hooker's with a dude purely for money and he runs and out of money, yeah, cool. And how do, you know, how do you know that? I know that because of how my relationship's set up. Because if they're with me for money, they, they choose someone else because they don't get any money. Well, I mean, they're not, they're not, they're not to work, they're not to do shit. They, they live for free. So how do you know they're not with you only because they can live for free and, and a good life and a good fancy life? How do you know that for certain? How do you, how do you build that framework, right, where, where they, they display they're with you for all these other intangible things all the, from you that isn't only life stability and, and status? Good question. Good question. So what we need to do is we need to get this Twitch stream. We I'm need to get every, every single stay-at-home mother, every single stay-at-home wife in the entire country, and we need to ask them how we know they really love their husband. They're not just with them, so they don't need to have a job. Let's do that, shall we? 
That's that's that doesn't even make I sense. I didn't ask these fucking degenerates or me. I asked you. Also, 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 is that lady billing you a new fucking back and rearrange your fucking bones? Why is it being misogyny for a full hour straight, bro? What is she doing out there, man? Bro, what the fuck? It's gonna be some sort of fucking osteopathic replacement or some shit. I have a lot of muscle. It's it's painful to carry around. It's a two hour massage. Can she get but, like? Um, can she get like a little break or like some water? Of course, she gets water. She works hard. She's here every day. She loves me. She's fine. She's my best friend. Okay, she's good. well looked at. What's uh, her watch name? Watch out! Watch out! Watch, hey, 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 hey! Sorry, lady. You better watch this guy's girlfriend. She's about to get jealous because he has a best friend that isn't her. Holy shit! Why <laughs> watch the fuck out? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey! hey somebody tell her. I want to say one more thing that will really trigger you, but this is true. All the rules I've been saying and all the things I've saying that apply to women don't apply to me. I can go to the club when I want. I can have as many female friends. So I can do whatever I want. So let's just make that. <laughs> okay. I can do. I can do as much as I want. Because I'm the boss. You're the boss. So I can do the fuck I want. Top G. Right? So, okay. Yeah, top G. My chick can't come to me and say, "Who's this chick?" Like some bitch. Why are you talking to her? Because I fucking want to. I'm well, allowed. I mean, I, I mean, in, in a way, a when, when you when you, have, when you have when you have these two things, right? These, these grant in that polygon when you have a crazy Chad, amount of money. Dick eating, I mean, Chad, my dick eating, Chad. I mean, you 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 can uh, <laughs> do whatever the fuck. You can do crazy, <laughs> outlandish shit, and well, still let's... have. Security. It's true, but I don't. I don't like people thinking that women are only with me for money because it's actually the absolute opposite. I only first ever made serious money because I had so many women when I was broke. So let's keep that in mind. Firstly, so I had women when I had no money. So and why? I'm, because you were good looking or other things? What was it? I was a because, world you because, you, because you had good hair. What happened when you went bald? You think maybe some women was only because of you because of your hair? But now you're bald. What happened then? I'm not bald. I shaved my head. I could grow all my hair back if I decided. Bro, but we can it, see the hairline. It's like a whole McDonald's uh, symbol. It's here, but um. It's because I was a world champion fighter, I'd assume, and because I'm interesting and smart, I guess. I'm that was funny, XQ. I'm big. I had lots of reasons. I had lots of things about me that women like, clearly, because they listen to me and they help me make up millions and millions of dollars. So it's not, just about, it's not just about money. Yo. How do you, how are you hiding Los Poyos' video? Like, like, how do you do that? You right click. He fell asleep. What do you click? He fell asleep. So yeah, but what do you, yeah, but, yeah, but what do you click? You right click, you just show my camera or disable video really good yeah. shit thank you brother oh i never knew that continue guys so yeah this is a very interesting conversation i would like to if i had the time which i know we could do a really interesting study we could you get a new girlfriend i get a new girlfriend i give mine my <laughs> set of rules and you give your set of rules and we see who lasts longer <laughs> yeah. who, la wait, who lasts like bro life is more like the way we can't just fucking full reset and get like brainwashed like cl clean sleep. you can't this is the problem with life. How do you okay? This is the one I've had problems with life. How do you know you have the tools and you have what it what you have what it takes to make it if you can't full reset? Oh shit! How? I wasn't music. It's, it's hard. It's it's hard. You, you, Yo, don't, this shit you don't is hilarious. Ever know for bro. sure, right? I wish. I, can we do a poll in the chat? Is it possible to do a poll? Yeah, yeah, just, you can do a poll. Yeah. yeah. Okay, just ask and say if your girl goes to the club with men all the or no sorry let me i got that wrong hey, pull, I, 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 do it again I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah give me the specifics yo mods, any mods up if your girl can go, go to the club whenever she likes with her girls are is she more likely or are you more likely to break up than if she doesn't go club that's the question so just so let's put, see what people think just put break Maybe up I'm wrong just put it's fine put break I'm, up I have no or problems not break up wrong. like i don't give a your fuck girl goes clubbing without with you her, with your girl. girls out you very often are you more likely to break up Boom. just put yes or no even actually wish it hold up andrew you're looking at my shit so i'll just i got you so wait you want me to put yes or no or break up or not break up yes or no is fine i just did break up not break up and it's so no, one, one minute pull one minute pull in the chat i might do it x mine's 95 percent breakup mine's or then yeah so but yeah yeah but you you, 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 you you stream to a bunch of fucking preteen Fucking Coomer Andy's up in his bitch. Just and like, you just stream like I to a bunch of skateboarding fucking... Oh, What's I can't. The question? Exactly. What's the question? I am as biased as you. It's we are not rooted, question. We are not rooted in rationality. What These guys the spam W when this guy shows up on screen. Holy because they, shit. What is the train? question? What it's, is the question? If your girl goes out clubbing with her girls without you, are you more <coughs> likely to break up with her than not? My, okay. my, my personal answer Thank is you. no. 100% no. Okay, because if she goes to the club, it has nothing to do with my my st my uh, relationship stability, and isn't getting something she isn't getting from me by going out there, right? <laughs> and she's fulfilling other needs uh, socially that she enjoys. That makes me even less likely. Yo, to look you, at this you are goal. more likely to be broken up with, right? Yo. If you allow her to do less things that she enjoys doing. 
This is like 50 And a story. I want my girl to feel pretty. And if she's bald like and 80, hot and fucking sexy, I want, her, I, want her, I want her to be able to feel, like, feel that. I want her to be able to do, do, do that. What the fuck she wants? She's not going to fucking sit at home in her pajamas. Oh, fuck. She, just like you like to have your fucking top off so we can see your titties and your traps. Freak, I'm going to add you after. She likes, sometimes, <laughs> looking nice and having some cleavage so she feels sexy when she looks at her in the mirror. It has nothing to do with what she's getting out of others. It's how she the sees herself. Oh, I'm sexy. I want to feel the that way. I want to say, hold on, I'm so fucking sexy. I think it's like hot shit. Yeah I, yeah, I love it when your girl comes to the club with her tits out. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because you can look like a fucking like a uh, window shopper, like when you're broke, right? That's right. Oh, and then really? she comes back home and sucks my balls, and not probably not yours, and nobody right. else is in the world. That's right. Uh, That's security. Thank you. That's right. You're right. Security. You're, no, you're totally right, man. Everyone's window shopping. No one's touching her. Just they, you, bro. They, they are window shopping. They absolutely, absolutely are. Yeah. Ingy, so, like I said, you are scared. People are not window shopping when your girl goes out. Uh, yeah. So I only. You're right. All my girls are ugly, clearly, and I'm I'm very fearful. No, that's not what I said. I didn't say ugly or looks. I said, I, I, what I said is, what I said is, what you're saying is that you intend that if you were going out, people will not be window shopping. They wouldn't be touching. They, they would well, not, no. Look, I, I, I hang around with many beautiful women. They get a lot of attention and we go out with me and, and they get shitloads of attention. Of course, it's normal. But that's, cr that, that's good. That's a good thing. I'm getting tired. Of course. That doesn't mean that they're touching, though. No. But they're with me. I wouldn't send them to the club by themselves. And and you know what's actually I know this is very unusual to like. So you have to be close when something when something that you don't like happens happens. I know this is maybe unusual to an American audience, right? But I live in Romania, so in Romania, if you go to a club and she's not with a man, she's single. The the idea that a woman has a boyfriend and goes to the club without her boyfriend is literally it doesn't exist. So you either you see women with their men and you see women standing on their own and everyone knows they're the single ones. It's impossible for a girl to have a boyfriend and still go out. That that's just the, the societal norm. Same in Russia, same in most of Eastern Europe, same in all of Asia, same in the Middle East, same in Africa, same in most that, of the world. That, that's cultural shit. You know, you're comparing the, the, the East, the West, Middle Eastern. Cultures. We're comparing cultures now. We're comparing the culture of the Western United States to other countries. The Western United States is a country with the highest divorce rate, the most suicidal males, girls are sleeping with the most men, the most porn stars, the most fucking OF, the cam, and all this other trash. You're going to try and defend the society which is the most degenerate on the fucking planet? There's nothing fucking respectable about... Well, well I live in here. I, I, I don't have any other choice. I, I like living here. I live here. That's about it. And a story. I'm not going to fucking... My ideas are not unusual most places on the planet. They may be unusual to an American audience in a degrading society full of disgusting... Okay. With but this mindset, you, you the girl of your dreams is actually not even alive right now. She's probably stuck in the fucking cave ages with the fucking uh, with, with, with the, the mindset that they had back then of the animals mm -hmm. and fighting. So by definition, your 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 soulmate or best fit is in the fucking minus two millions or some shit. There is no such thing as a soulmate because as a man, you mold your woman. I take any woman and, and she becomes my soulmate by obeying my rules. And if she doesn't obey, we break up. So that woman, the women are malleable. My point is I could take an American woman and she would combat, she would abide by my rules because that's who I am. It's not about that. My point is you're defending. Why, why would I have to obey? And that, dude, dude, I feel like the way, the way you're saying that obey, then in that, in that sense, the way we use the word obey, she can do, you can make her do any tricks whatsoever. fucking ever. She can make, you can make her do anything. She has to obey. What is that, well, man? It's, it's comply. Like if they don't want to comply with my rules and my, my, my views on how a relationship should run, then they should leave. That's normal, right? Um, a woman gets with me. I think it wants to be this way. She doesn't want it to be that way. Then we break up. What's the problem? But if she stays, it's yeah, that, that was that was both ways though, with girl and woman and, and men, right? Correct. A woman can come to me and say, "I expect you to do X, Y, Z, Andrew." And if I do those things, we stay together. And if we don't, we break up completely. But my point is that my rules are that I can do whatever I want in certain regards, and she can't. Those are my rules because I have responsibility. Okay, it, it makes sense. So, so, so hmm. you are inherently superior, right? Therefore, you command you you command the boat. I'm I, as an analogy, I just always felt like relationship. It's more like a like a plane. You have a co-pilot, right? You have a co-pilot. <laughs> you think it's the opposite. You have a ship, and you're the fucking captain, and they are the the whatever mother sucker down on the board, and you do this and you do that, and you obey the captain. I'm the captain mother sucker, right? And you, as Andrew, no girl is above you. Not a single breathing woman on earth is above you and commands you or could command you because you're above somehow. I, I right? could argue that, but to, just for the sake of keeping things simple, I'll, I'll, that's 85% correct. Yeah, correct. 85% how? 
because you're saying like no topic. woman's above you that you're trying to use it as a misogynistic term but it's not about that it's about the fact that in a relationship someone has to be in charge and i think the most healthy relationships are relationships with the man in charge and there are certain domains in which hmm. i'm always going to excel Jesus. and because of that let me give you another example and then we're going to change subject hopefully last example yes sure. please. You're, you're walking down the street with your chick i come up to you or or forget me 10 ufc guys come up to you your chance of winning is zero percent Zero. They, <laughs> okay but they want they want to physically harm your female it is your masculine duty and your imperative to at least attempt to protect her do you agree what bro this isn't world of warcraft you don't fucking you don't <laughs> airy the mobs down bro like this isn't some fucking primitive you're against a lion type shit bro it's an unwinnable fight nobody would take that fight by the okay. likeness i would hope my well, girl knows try. we cannot win this fight we must both run and we both run. Yeah, okay, yeah, but let's let's say okay, they're about like to drag the woman into a bush and have their way with her, unless you Yo! at least attempt to protect her. Do you Yo! feel like you have a masculine duty, even Yo! in the face of unwinnable odds, to at least Yo! attempt to protect her? Yes or no? Bro, th these what it, you made fun of me for my scenarios. What is this scenario of some obscure fucking like <laughs> hentai shit, man? What okay, the I'll fuck am I? What are we talking about here, man? All right, I'll change it then. If you want to pretend that that's not a very reasonable question, even though it is, I'll change Ten it. Ten dudes are <laughs> dragging the woman, the woman. Well, uh, I, 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 yeah, in, in a bush, and you have to fight 1v9. Bro, you wouldn't even win that if you were fucking Naruto, man. That's like, fair. I'm not talking about winning. I'm talking about your imperative. <laughs> I'm not talking about winning. I'm talking about, do you have a duty? Do you have a masculine duty to at least... Where does that duty come from? That okay. Both, both okay. partners have to help each other in, 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 in some way. You, you, you don't Both partners. Okay, so you need your chick to fight for you. I get it. Next question. Yo. Let's say you're alone in your house. You and your wait, chick. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, hold up. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Hey, let's, let's roll it back a little bit. So you say you, you say that, that, that the girl can't fight for you, right? Because it's not her role. Whenever she made her character, she didn't choose fucking defender or melee. She chose fucking female. So they can't fucking fight. What the fuck is that? So what if, 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 you get, if you get jumped by three dudes, right? And you're getting absolutely boned, okay? And she has a gun. Right? She cannot shoot because the woman do not fight. The woman cannot fight. She can't fight for you, right? But because you're so you're such a lion, bro. Right? Not, bro, bro, come on. You're gonna want me three of them, right? That's not the point. If my female had a gun, I'd tell him to shoot every fucker. That's not what I'm saying. So well, uh, but now she fought for you. That's that, that's that's not male, bro. That's that's not that's not fucking warrior mode. She uh, you let the fucking female fight for you? Come on, Andrew, you're better than that. <laughs> let me change the question because you want to pretend my question is is not very reasonable, even though it is. Because we're talking about masculine duty and authority and responsibilities. We're not. It's a hypothetical. So let me change it. You and your woman are asleep in bed upstairs. You hear someone break into the house downstairs. Who goes downstairs? Thank Nobody. You. Tripping. <laughs> XQ, you tripping. Hold on, hold on. XQ, so you're not going down there? Nobody's going down there. So what if they come you, upstairs? Bro, you gotta you gotta protect. Bro, hold I'll up, keep bro. it a buck fifty. Protect, real, quick, no, protect. real quick, real quick. I'll keep it a buck fifty. No, no, no. no. My job is to survive, not protect. My job is to survive. And sometimes that means the guy, the guy go down there, the guy's a gun. It what doesn't matter. That's what not the very fuck I do? We are, of you, bro. We are both going down by no. doing the by doing the smart thing, the analytical thing, the strategic thing. We can both survive. If but I no. go down, not only am I jeopardizing myself, I am jeopardizing both of us by not being smart and a leader in that regard. We are even more in danger if I go I'm down not, than if I not go down.